Peace, peace. Y'all know the end rep, one etiquette. This is the return of Spooky Hours. Oh, yeah. I know y'all been waiting. Salute to the rep mob. Salute to SJ. Salute to T, T the T. Salute to everybody. Gina, Gina Rose. Everybody. Danny Divine. Man, all my people. Stop mommy. Run the lights up. Let's get it. Let's run the lights up. We're going to get right into, you know, the spooky hours thing, but we're going to go into this 50 cent thing for a little bit. I'm taking calls on this 50 cent. I love the goodie content. Um, we're definitely going into the spooky. But, you know, we got to rock with the algorithm. Is my audio off? What's going on? Hold on. Let me see. My audio. Talk to me. My mic need to be checked. Let's see. Ah oh, man, what's going on? We ain't doing that. Man, what the hell is going on? Hold on, y'all. I'm gonna take this mic off. It is what it is. Hold on. We gonna rock out without the um. Man. All right. Can you hear me, man? Peace, peace. Can you hear me? I don't know what's going on these days, man. It's like, sound like I was drowning. Drowning. Ah. <sighs> mic check, mic check. Can you hear me? I'm gonna have to rock out without the mic. Um, I got another mic. Um, run the likes up. Until then, I'm about to plug in these other mics. And it is what it is. Let's get into this 50 cent. Um, this Ed Lover addressing 50 Cent about this whole Diddy situation. All right. Let's get into this. Shouts to my man, Rip, Forgotten Kings TV, 2.0. Subscribe to his channel. All right? Let's get it, y'all. Yeah. And we're too busy worrying about did he do it. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you something. You know as much as I love 50. Yeah. I think 50 is stepping over the line now. I really do. Funny is funny. I even, I even do my three random facts on my Ed Lover experience. I even had a random fact that said the federal government ran up in Diddy's house's L.A. mansion and his Miami mansion. And then I repeat it, and then I do the punchline. And the punchline was they found something everybody been looking for, Fonsworth Bentley. Mm -hmm. But he's kicking the shit out this nigga while he's down. <laughs> So, hold on, let me stop this. Yeah, y'all, so, at Lover, I'm going to play more of the clip, but I wanted to get right to it. Um, I'm trying to talk into the mic, and the mic is not even on, so let me talk directly into the computer. Um, pound that like button. So, at Lover, um, he took to his uh, Come On Son podcast, and address you know the diddy conspiracy um him initially suing the liquor company um i think it's uh de Leon, if i'm not mistaken let me see uh Di diajo i believe right so um, he sued the liquor company, and then that's when all these alleged allegations and, you know, it just went crazy. You know what I mean? So that's what Ed Lover is saying. I think Luke is saying the same thing. But in the mix of all that, Ed Lover, he's not feeling 50 Cent kicking Diddy while he's down. You know what I'm saying? Um, call me up. And let me know how y'all feel about it. I'm about to open the lines up. We got 400 people in the room. Pound that like button. We should have over 400 likes. Let me get the uh, 
the app open so y'all can um call me up with your spooky stories as well as dressing this whole 50 cent at lover diddy situation pardon me with the audio i don't know what's going on because i'm i got new equipment but i guess you know when you hook up new equipment it kind of like you know it, it it got everything going crazy you know what i mean so part yourself on that lines is open real quick i see people left text messages so let me put the number on the screen real quick i can't even hear myself That's the bad okay. peace 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 i'm right what was good everything good state your name where you calling from and keep it clean i gotta keep it clean no slip ups no nothing all right all right, I got you. I'm Rex. Right. This is Wayne. Wayne O from the Bronx. I called in spooky hours 21. I'm not sure if you remember. Okay. I had called in about a about a spooky dog, but it was actually it was you know more spiritual. Okay. But I was calling you tonight because um I wanted to share a spooky story real quick. Okay, let, let let's get to it, good brother. All right, so check it out. Do you remember the movie Exorcist Believer? Um, I didn't see it, but build on it. All right. That's the one that came out in, I believe, October 16, 2023. Um, I went to the movie theater. I went to the Magic Johnson Theater, right? Me and my wife. Mm -hmm. Now, that's the crazy part. Mm -hmm. There was nobody in the theater, but we went to the last show at 1130. Mm -hmm. So check this out, right? Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, while we watching the movie, in the middle of the movie, I'm sitting on my left. He's sitting on my right. I ain't going to hold you. I saw the sharp kick in my back. Mm. Nobody else in the theater but me and her. Mm. The office held, the movie's on. Mm -hmm. so when, I, when I saw that sharp kick in my back, I looked at her. I'm thinking she hit my chair with her arm, with her left arm. Because mind mm -hmm. you, I'm sitting to the left, mm -hmm. you're sitting to the right. Mm -hmm. So I, I played it off like it's nothing. I'm a man. I, I, you know what I'm saying? I swallowed that. Pause. And I kept watching the movie. Ten minutes later, I looked at her, and she had a kick to her back. <laughs> and we both just looked at each other like, yo, hold up, hold up. We're at the Magic Johnson Theater. Last show, Actress is Believer. Uh huh. It's now twelve thirty. Uh, I went to the show, into the movie, right? Uh huh. So I'm I'm not going like, like yo, is it a spirit in here bugging us right now while we watch this movie by itself? It's uh -huh. mine. It was just me and Hunter there. Mm -hmm. And it, it felt just it just eerie. You know what I'm saying? So meanwhile, we played it off. We left out the theater, and I just felt like weird when I got out the movies. And I'm like, yo, I said, yo, not for nothing. We was watching the movie. You seen, you know, when when I just, you know, I saw like somebody, somebody kick me when I was watching the movie. Down. She was like, yeah, well. I I, I, thought, I felt that too when it happened to me. I thought you did it. I'm like, I thought you did it. So we both bugging out. <laughs> you both thought you, you was kicking. Story, man. Yeah, you both thought you was kicking each other back in on the low. But okay, keep going. <laughs> on the low, but 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 the crazy part is, right? Nobody was in that theater, but us. we saw at the whole previews of the movie. Then we watched the movie. But in the middle of the movie, that's when it happened. Wow. That's She's crazy. looking at me, and, and and when that kick to my back happened, it's like my whole shoulders lean up. And push me to push me forward. Then I'm like, okay, cool. I'm thinking, Spoken. and it's not, it's not the fun thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm saying, mm -hmm. I'm listening. Yeah, it's a regular Magic Johnson theater on 121st. So I'm looking at her five minutes later. Same thing happened to her. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, yo, I'm really bugging out. Like, yo, it's got to be a spirit in this theater while we watching this movie. You know what I'm saying? Got you, man. That that's spooky, my brother. You know what I mean? Let me try to play the spooky because I I ain't got my machine. Let me try to play it from uh, this app. Hold on one second. Spooky. I don't know. Spooky. Yeah, yeah. That with that. I, I'm glad I got the spooky because real talk, that was real spooky, man. Like I ain't never experienced something like that. Yeah, that's spooky, my brother. I appreciate you tapping in. This is the return of spooky hours. I believe this is going to be episode 119, and we we are addressing the 50 Cent and Love a Diddy thing at the same time, y'all. Peace, my brother. Got another call. Salute. Peace. 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 Peace, what's going Dion on? from North Carolina. Dion, what's going on, man? Do me a favor, Thank keep you. it, keep it extra clean, man. I gotta keep it clean because they messing, you know, they messing around with my channel. You dig what I'm saying? Gotta yes, keep sir. it clean. All right. Yes, sir. So yeah, hey, let's get to it. What we talking? What we talking about? We talking about the Diddy Fifty Cent at Lover thing, or we? You got a spooky story? Yeah, Diddy at Lover thing. Okay, let's get it. Talk to me. I'm gonna see. How dare Ed Lover to tell another man how to feel about, you know, another man? 
you know, uh, 50 doing his thing, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, have Ed Lover ever considered the ag- allegations? Have Ed Lover ever, Ed Lover ever considered, you know, what happened to Biggie Park and Kim Porter and others? Mm-hmm. So how dare Ed Lover, you know what I'm saying, to say that about 50 or worry about 50 going at Diddy? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? No, I got you. Pound that like button, y'all. We got 600 people in the room in like 10 minutes. Run the likes up. Run the likes up. This is Spooky Hours as well as we addressing the 50 Cent at Love of Diddy thing. Yeah, my brother. Uh, matter of fact, let me take this next call on my brother. I got to do these calls fast, all right? Peace. 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 Mutual audio. Mutual audio, please. I got you. I got you. Yeah. What's going on? What's going? On? What's going on, Embry? What's going on, my brother? Just here working hard, and you know what I mean. I don't know what's going on with my equipment, but I'm still I'm working through it. I gotta figure it out, but I gotta do what I gotta do because I haven't been doing spooky hours for a couple of months. Also, you we got the app too on in the Apple Store for all right. My wreck mob family, and you know what I mean. People are part of this whole spooky hours you know entity we got the app y'all been asking me about the app we got the full tv show on the app it's on the apple store go support that i'm gonna put the link in the chat room run it up so my brother what you want to talk about you want to talk about the diddy 50 thing at lover thing or you want to talk you got a spooky story what you want to do first i want to say i'm sounds from yyby i came to you you came to your john a while back before I want to say big up to you for everything mm-hmm. that you do, my brother. You give everybody the opportunity to speak their peace. So Thank you know, you. that's big. Thank you, my brother. I appreciate that. That's love, my brother. So, yeah, do what you do. You got the mic. All I'm going to say is this, man. All I, Our people got to repent, bro. It's called generational curses. Mm. Everybody going to reap what they sow. Next, you need to stop being hypocrites. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Before they cast the first stone you know, to pearl, to swine. Mm. They got to repent, come from their wicked ways. 50 ain't no different than Puff. Mm-hmm. Puff ain't no different. They all don't follow the Most High. They don't follow the, the fruits of the Most High. They don't mm-hmm. follow the laws. Mm. So they all follow what their oppressors say do. Mm. Period. I love my brothers, but what I'm saying is that you, you gotta, they got to repent, bro. Or they gonna, they gonna all going to reap what they sow. Every one of them. Because they're not righteous, man. Mm. It's just that simple. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I'm, I'm not talking about religions. I'm not talking about none of that. I'm talking about the true Elohim, Jehovah. Mm. And if they don't get right, destruction is coming and all prophecies is fulfilling right now. Y'all better get right. No doubt, my brother. I appreciate you. Do me a favor, my brother. Uh, I need you to download that app out the Apple Store, the Spooky Hours app, all right? I'm going to check it out right now. That's my word. Thank you, my brother. Appreciate you. Salute. All right. Thank you. Peace. Man, the, the lines is on fire. Ooh. Calls is coming in left and right. I got everybody. Shouts to Lisa Jackson on the super chat. She said, Good Lord, what is there to address? All right, we're going to address everything, um, Lisa. Uh, shouts to the homie Jose on the super chat. He said, Salute, Rev. The church back open 100. Facts, my brother. You know, I got you. Peace. 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 And Rec, what's good, man? Everything good, man. I'm back doing my spooky hours. I got the spooky hours app, like I promised y'all. You know, everybody been asking, yo, Rec, you know, we 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 love the episodes, you know, individually, but we need to, to watch the whole TV series when you drop in the app. The app is here in the Apple store. So it's here, my brother. So that's that's no what doubt. I'm on. You feel me? No doubt. And mm-hmm. check this out. And Rec, before we start, I need to give you your flowers, man. Cause you, know, you. you don't talk about it that much, but I'm about to remind people. Mm-hmm. Best friends, I watched that last <laughs> year, man. I watched it twice, man. Thank you. Bro. And, and I watched it one time in the crib, and I and mm-hmm. I watched it with a bunch of other people in the hood in the barbershop, yo. Mm-hmm. That was a good. It, it, you you had your little cameo too. You was in it for like about five seconds. Yep, yep. I was I, in and out. I, I had to give you your flowers on that first, Thank you. man. Thank you, my brother. Um, yeah, man. A lot of people. Saying best friends is a classic. Everybody hitting me up, wanting part two. I got part y'all. Part two, definitely. I, I, I got y'all, man. Trust me, I got y'all. Um, thank you for even just supporting me, um, you know, watching it in the crib, then watching it in the barbershop. So when you watch it in the barbershop, you watched it when it was on Tubi, or you watched it 
you know, from your um yeah 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 app. yeah yeah because um mm -hmm. first 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 I first I watched it on Tubi mm -hmm. in the crib mm -hmm. then 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 I hit my man because he a barber and I said yo you saw that Enric uh movie Best Friends he said nah I ain't know about it but uh uh when you come to the shop put it on and put on the Tubi joint mm -hmm. and everybody was watching the Tubi like like niggas who was coming in like after they got their hair cut they were still staying and watching it see mm. what happened because like the way you formatted the whole shit it was like real suspenseful and shit it wasn't no boring shit yeah it yeah like, easy on the cursing easy, easy easy on the cursing though now i i, I love oh, my, oh, my bad, nah, nah, my I, I love the energy but you know youtube you know how they play you know what i'm saying my bad my yeah, bad now you good yeah, my bad, you my good bad. you good nah i i love the energy don't get it wrong i just you know i just gotta move a certain way but Yo, bro. Yeah, no, you're right. I, I keep forgetting. But um, so a, a, after dudes was getting the, the haircut, mm -hmm. they were sitting back in 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 a chair on the regular chair, watching to the end what happened. Mm -hmm. And they and everybody who who stayed to the end, they're like, "Yo, that was a good ending, yo." Like, they, no, you did a good job Thank with you. that. No BS. Yo. Thank you. Now, I mean, I'm not gonna take full credit. Thank you. Um, shouts to the homie Raw. He he wrote the joint. Um. But you know, it's it's a collective effort. You dig what I'm saying? Like, you know, okay. I, I'm definitely executive producer. I put all the plays together, put all the actors and everybody together, the locations, to put the bread up, the, the you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The cinematographer, the editors, you know, yeah, I took care of all that. You know what I mean? The cars, uh, yeah, yeah, the the uh yeah, everything. Airbnbs, got you, yeah, the sets, I took care of all that, you know what I mean? Like, you know, but I appreciate yeah. you. Uh, tapping in with that now. Also, like I want, mm -hmm. I want to say this. Now with spooky hours, I tell people, please don't let the name you know discourage you from watching good content because spooky hours is not just some horror shit. It's actually street stories as well. So I'll be wanting people to understand, like spooky, at least for me, is a general word now. Like you know what I mean. Like everybody used the mm -hmm. word spooky. I've been using it probably like seven, eight years you know, from a general perspective. You dig what I'm saying? So, like, uh -huh. Spooky Hours is my brand. I want people to understand just the way you love best friends, you're going to love Spooky Hours because it's, it's it got street stories as well that's spooky. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, and, 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 and Rick, what, what you did, because, like, I, I ain't going front. I ain't one of these phony mm -hmm. cats. Someone said, yo, and Rick, I always knew you had it in you. Honestly, mm -hmm. I thought it was going to be whack. Because, you, <laughs> you know, every time you, you you run across a dude, like, yo, I be rapping. Uh -huh. You want to show support, and, and you you popping this mixtape. Mm -hmm. You like, yo, this bitch just trash. Mm -hmm. I ain't bumping this in my car mm -hmm. no more. So when I put on so when I put on best friends, son, when I put on best friends and I saw it once now, I'm saying, yo, I got to take this back to the hood, son. The hood Thank got you. to see this. And, and, and the barber, the barber shop was it was lit when that was on, yo. That's like 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 usually people be all like like cause because it was last year, this time around. Usually talking people talking about NBA and the March Madness and all that. It was everybody was quiet watching watching best friends, son. That's what's up. Now, you know what's so crazy? I told everybody, right? And I'm thank you, bro. Matter of fact, what what hood you was at watching Best Friends in a barbershop? North New Jersey, yo. Shout, North New Jersey. Shout out to the whole North City, New yo. Jersey. Brick City. I got mad love for y'all. Y'all got love for MREC, Gutter Music, the whole MREC TV. Now, look, I'm gonna tell I, I tell people, Best Friends is is only for a limited time mind you you know you can't even get it on tubi no more i tell everybody like oh I, damn i ain't know that yeah oh yeah i watched it last, it was last year yeah that's that's when it, that's when it was available like I, and i tell everybody oh. i said look <laughs> wow. anything i put out is limited editions you know why because you can't well, get this nowhere like i tell people like my work is different i like it stand you know like my thing i tell i tell people like when I do my content, I want people to know mm -hmm. this is one of one. This is not that okay. other shit. This is I tell people them niggas selling garbage down the way. This is a this dope here is a tent. You know what I mean? This is okay. that this okay. that blue ma this that blue magic from Bangkok. You feel me? So you know this is exclusive. So like right now, the only way people can watch Best Friends and I put it on the screen is on the patreoncom TV. and 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 I probably I'm matter of fact I'm gonna put it on the Spooky I was at. I'm gonna put on the Spooky okay. Hours app, so that's the only way y'all can get it. You know what I mean? It's not on Tubi no more. I tell people my content when I put it out there, you lock in with it. 
And I'm glad you locked okay. in with it when, when it was when it was out there, when you can watch it. Because if you didn't, you would have missed it. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. But you know, but I appreciate you, my brother. Um, let the people know who you be again. Boss man, Brick City, Milk, New Jersey, yo. Uh, and Rick, I called it because I, I want to touch on. I want to touch on this Diddy issue, man. Okay, let let let's get all it. All right, now, no, and Rick, no disrespect to your man, mm -hmm. you know. You first, first, your man, um, Gene Dill. Okay, I've been watching him. Mm -hmm. I've been watching him. Mm -hmm. You put him on, mm -hmm. and let me tell you, son, I have not caught this man in a lie yet. Because after he came on your show, he mm -hmm. went on, on Queen Slip mm -hmm. and, 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 and Queen Slip backed him on son, called mm -hmm. his cousin uh, uh, uh Eric B. Eric B. saying, mm -hmm. yep, yep, son, son ain't lying. Mm -hmm. So Gene Dill comes off as a genuine person. That's but a fact. That's a fact. I need to talk to your man. I need to talk to your man, Gene Dill, because Gene Dill saying all this stuff about Puff Daddy. I want to know what was you doing when Puff Daddy was doing all this, this unrighteous stuff? <laughs> I, I don't want to hear you was being the righteous one while, while Puff Daddy and them was being unrighteous. So what I'm saying with this with this P. Diddy stuff and uh -huh. Cassie too, uh -huh. Cassie not innocent, son. Mm -hmm. Cassie what was dealing with Puff Daddy on a sugar daddy, sugar mommy turn gone wrong. Sugar mm. mommy, sugar daddy relationship gone wrong. Mm. So she said, since, since since I'm dealing with you, Puffy, and you ain't give me what I want, I'm going to get what I want another way. And that's when she said, oh, you did this to me, you did that to me. And she 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 went on saying he abused her. But the other the other bodyguard, not Gene Dill, the other bodyguard did, did an interview, and he was saying how Cassie was whooping his butt too. Cassie, like, like you, you saw the movie What's Love Got to Do With It? Facts. When Tina Turner beat up Ike in the limousine. Facts. She, she, yo, he said that she was doing that to him. So all I'm saying, I ain't saying Puffy innocent, but everybody talking about Puffy, y'all ain't innocent either, son. That's a fact. That, that, that's, that's what I had to say about that. No, bro. no doubt. That's that, that's peace, my brother. I appreciate you, bro. Matter of fact, hold on, I gotta lock you in. Anybody that support me, my movies and and my movement, I gotta stay locked in with them hold on where's this where's the phone lines at all right here we go here we go i gotta lock you in um yeah and and, and, and right before i go uh, watch out for these cassies out here when i oh, mean these cassies out here they they're they gonna come at you yeah and Rick, i love you i love you like like play <laughs> their role and then when they don't get what they want the same way 50 cent baby mama did them oh he did this to me he did that mm -hmm. to me that's what they're gonna do to you watch out for these cassies these cassies is out here son that's why in rep anytime i deal with a woman it's my way or the high Way. So that's Diddy for Diddy for Diddy. Diddy should have been fired, Cass. You should have been dumped, her son. That's a fact. She nah, did. but you you right, hundred percent, bro. I keep myself so exclusive with these women. You feel me? I'm I'm good. Do you that, know what I'm saying? Do that. Do that. I'm, 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 I'm about to get off the locker. I know people. Come yeah, yo, matter of fact. Yeah, yeah. How, um, how you spell your um name? How you spell it? Give me a spelling on your boss name. Boss man. B O S S man. Boss okay, man. Okay, boss man. Say that. Oh, damn. Yo, Jerome, what's happening? What's good, my brother? Everything good, my brother. Salute. How you feeling? Doing great, bro. How you feeling? I'm, no, you feeling good. I'm feeling great, my brother. I'm feeling great. Mm -hmm. Damn, hold on. I'm mm -hmm. trying to lock in this call, but yeah, I got, I got it. I got him right here. You good? Um, speak your peace, my brother. I'm just uh, just doing multiple things while I'm talking to you. Speak your peace. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, when I come, I'm coming with, I'm coming with, I'm coming with, what the can I say, y'all? You know, I'm coming with what I believe. Okay. But I, okay. I try to give you, I try to give you the truth. I don't sugarcoat it or nothing. Nah, I appreciate that. We love it that over here. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to drop a serious gym. Mm -hmm. And really wake people up. Talk to me. You witnessing. I know everybody's seen the Wizard of Oz. I know they have. <laughs> That's a fact. Huh? That's a fact. Why you think they showed you the Wizard of Oz? Mm. Build on it, my brother. Talk to him. Talk you to remember him. what happened at the, you remember what happened at the end of the Wizard of Oz, don't you? Mm-hmm. Got exposed. The wizard got exposed. Mm-hmm. Pulled the curtain back, don't yep. you? Yep. Yep. That's a fact. This is this is what this is. This is the world. Mm -hmm. This is the world, man. One Who big stage. Think? One big stage. 
if you believe there's a devil, you know it's got to be a human. Come on now. See, they ain't ready. They they not ready for that talk though. You know what I mean? That's a whole different talk right there. Don't don't get don't go too deep on that. You feel me? They're not ready on Listen, that. But I, hey, look, let me pull some other stuff too. Mm -hmm. It was so it was something like oh, it was what song was that? Ooh, I'm fit to carry you somewhere. Mm -hmm. Fit to wake you up. You gotta. I know people know the lyrics to this song. You remember back in? You remember when? Uh, what was that? The remix to um, was it the remix to was it what? Which one's the one LJ said? Uh, this shit. Oh, 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 oh. that's um, Craig mm -hmm. Mack um, uh, Flavin' Your Ear remix. Flavin' Your Ear. Go back and listen to them lyrics. Mm -hmm. Once you go back and listen to what he said, he she. Yeah. Did he say he she? Yeah. Not right. even that. Yeah. Go back and listen to DMX. Now I know, yeah, you go back and listen to DMX song um, and he exposed some stuff. Mm. And it was, um, was it Where the Hood At? Mm -hmm. That one. Mm. Listen to the beginning. Listen to the beginning. Mm -hmm. The first, listen to the first, the first, the first couple of bars and the, the first, yeah, the first couple of bars. He going to drop some knowledge on you too. But no what really woke, woke, woke me up was a, a long time ago in the 90s when the Wu-Tang came out. And the Wu Tang was dropping serious knowledge back then, but I was younger. Facts. You know what I'm saying? When you're young, you just you listening to the beat, you pay attention to some of the words, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? But you got to go back and listen to the Wu Tang clan. And mm -hmm. if you listen to the Wu Tang clan, they telling you a lot. That's a fact. A lot. Nah, that's a fact, my <laughs> brother. But what you witnessing is the Wizard of Oz. Pay attention. <laughs> Pay attention. The only thing I do is just enjoy the show right now. Just enjoy the show. Because mm -hmm. they're going to distract you with some of everything. That's some of everything is going to be a distraction. But I ain't going to hold you. I'm going to let everybody else get in. Keep doing your thing, brother. Thank you, you know, my I'm brother. Always listening. And I'm always back here uh, laughing and crying back in the background. No doubt. I'm just my waiting brother. on uh, I'm waiting on Deacon Weasel to call in so I can really get away. <laughs> he going to call in as soon as you say his name. He calling up now. All right, hey, my brother. You know, hey, you know that's gonna be legendary. Yeah, yeah, he definitely calling up. My brother. All right, man, be good. Bro. All right, stay up. Peace, Jerron. Peace. Peace. Salute, Ralph. What's good? Oh, what's going on, Jose? Salute, salute. How are you? Man, we on demon time tonight. Oh, man. man. Let's yeah. talk about it. Spooky Hours is back, man. Mansa Musa. <laughs> It's on the line too. You know, hold on, Jose. Hold that. I got that. a story too, man. Oh, I got to drop a oh, story okay. too. Okay, Master Moose, I'm gonna hit you right back at the um or, or call right back after Jose finished the call, Master Moose, because you know he be dropping them ill stories, and everybody. Yeah, we gotta waiting. hear him tonight. Yeah. Let's talk about it. Everybody, on. hold on. Let's let's <laughs> let, let's do this. Let's talk about it. This is spooky hours. Yes, we covering the Fifty Cent Diddy at Lover thing. But let's not get it twisted. This is the return of Spooky Hours. I see my brother, Danny Devine, in the room. We got Jose on the line. And let's keep, let's let's make this clear. Spooky Hours is, is the Wreck Mob show on Sundays. And I, I, I want to say this. I didn't forget y'all. I'm just, you see, I came back with the app. You see, I'm working. You feel me? Remember everybody kept asking me about your wreck. When you going to drop the app so we could just pay one time fee, right, Jose? Wasn't everybody saying that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Did, don't I always deliver? You always deliver. Okay. I'm with you when you write. Yeah. Yeah, man. Listen. <laughs> and, and, I'm with you when you write, no, man. But, Let's and look, talk about it. And, and it ain't easy having an app. That ain't easy, especially on Apple. That shit, man. Look it up. You see everybody saying, yo, Apple be on some BS and it's hard getting the app done, and it costs a lot of grip too. It ain't easy. Trust me. Right. Nah, but man, speak your speak your um story. Let's get oh, into yeah, your story. Oh yeah, story, my story, my story. Like uh, back in the day, you know what I'm saying? I was a little bit younger, and my sister had my nephew. He was real little, and he always used to run around the house with a pencil in his hand, mm. and she kept telling him. Stop running through the house with that pencil in your hand. Mm. So one day I was chilling in the living room, just sitting watching TV. Mm -hmm. Then I heard my sister screaming loud as hell, screaming. Mm. 
Mm. I got up like, what the hell? And she brought my nephew in the room where I was at, and blood was just running from his face, like where his eye was at. Wow. And she she was holding his eye. And when she moved her hand from his eye, the pencil was broke off in his eye. What? That's crazy. Bro. Yes. That's, that's, the that's... pencil, he was running and fell on the pencil, and it broke off in his eye. But where the pencil went, we really couldn't see because it was so much blood in his eye, like running mm. down his face. Mm. So when she cleared it a little bit, you could see that the pencil had went in his eye, but it hit his nose bone and it just missed his eye and went to the corner. You know, the corner of your eye right there mm. and where your nose bone at? Mm hmm. It just missed his eye by that much, and a piece of pencil was sticking out his eye where you can see the, you know, like the pencil had broke off, mm. and it was sticking that much out of his eye, but you could see it was in the corner. Mm. And my little nephew was that lucky to this day that he still got that eye on that side that the pencil didn't go straight in his eye. That's crazy. But He's that, definitely lucky, that's, man. That's a blessing. Yes, he definitely lucky, man. We was shook. My sister was screaming. Blood was gushing out his eye. We was like, mm. damn. I was like, damn. Mm. Fuck. <laughs> I was like, wow. But he, he he was all right. It didn't go straight in his eye. And he all right to this day. But wow, that's a blessing, That's my man. story, man. Let's get back to the spooky out. Let's get, let's get back Salute, to the spooky out. Salute, Jose. Appreciate it. Good story, man. Hold on. Let me... I got the spooky over here. Even though my machine acting up, I still got the spooky. Look. Okay. Hold on. One more time. Spooky. <laughs> Listen, hey, Rev, I got one for you. Let's talk about it. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you going to have to hit that line when they be like, you going to have to come on. Let's talk about it. No doubt. Come on. <laughs> no doubt, my brother. All right, man. Salute. I'll let Salute, you. Salute, Jose. Appreciate you, man. Yeah. Call me up, Mansa Musa. The line is open, my brother. Let's call. We got the spooky hour story. I'm going to play real quick before you call. I'm going to go into this uh, at Lover 50 Cent joint. I'm going to play it a little further back, give y'all some more context, all right? Let's go into that, and we we doing this spooky hours thing. The app is out now. Everybody been asking me, you know, uh, in rec, when you're dropping the app, I just want to pay a one-time fee to watch the whole series. The whole series is out. You got the app is out on only in the Apple store. You know what I mean? We're gonna make the announcement for Google. We're working some things out with Google, but download it from the Apple store. The link is in the chat room. SJ is gonna make sure you got all that. All right. But let's go into this at lover 50 cent um content. Let's get it. Cause a lot of people's here for that. Run the lights up, please. We got over a thousand people in the room. Run the lights up. The like button is free. Run it up. Salute to the wreck mall. We here. Let's get into this Ed Lover thing. All right. I'm going to take it back a little bit further. I'm going to play it from where he, you know, addresses 50 Cent, but I'm going to take it back a little further. So let's walk with me. Um, Walk with me. There we go. Let's get it, y'all. What America is for the next four years, yeah. and we're too busy worrying about did he do it? Mm -hmm. And let me tell you something. You know as much as I love Fifty, yeah. I think Fifty is stepping over the line now. I really do. <laughs> funny is funny. I even, I even do my three random facts on my Ed Love experience. Mm -hmm. I even had a random fact that said the federal government ran up in Diddy's house's L.A. mansion and his Miami mansion. And then I repeat it, and then I do the punchline. And the punchline was they found something everybody been looking for, Farnsworth Bentley. Mm -hmm. But he's kicking the shit out this nigga while he's down. All right, so pound that like button. Uh, call me up, 310-598-2974. Ed Lover's an OG, been in this hip hop game, I think, for over 40 years, been in radio and MTV, you know, it's been in media a long time, but been a hip hop figure 
since the beginning. Like, you know, damn near, you know, rocking with uh Fab Five, Freddie, Dr. Dre, and all that, you know, um, from Queens, I, I believe from Holly. Master Musa on the line. What's going on, my my guy? Talk to me. Peace, peace, bro. What's good, King? What's good, Spooky House? What's good, chat? You know, everything good, my brother. Um, I didn't take off because I was still. I'm always working. I just had to get this app mm -hmm. right and exact, and I'm still getting the uh the Google part right, but the, the Apple, but it's in the Apple Store. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got both of them on my phones. I ain't touched on them yet. You know, since I had the night off. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna deal with them later on because I know I'll probably go lay down to probably about five or something. So, but uh, I'm definitely gonna check them out and I'm gonna text you and give you my feedback on them if that's cool. All right, let's get it, my brother. You got a spooky story for us tonight? I appreciate that. Oh man, I I, I got four bangers, but oh. I got something that's never been done with your permission, man. I'll speak on it a little bit. Yeah, let's get it. All right, tonight, chat. The last story that I'm gonna speak of is a challenge in it. And I'm going to tell you the challenge before I finish the last story later on. So make sure y'all pay attention for me to do the last story. But this is the first one. It'll be later on when I do the last story, but it'll be a challenge. All right. So this right it. here took place back. This right here took place back when I was between five and seven. And uh, my older brother and them, my older cousin and them, sometimes they would let us go across town with them, walk with them or whatever, you know. But the thing about going with the older boys, they'll fight for you, they'll protect you. You know what I'm saying? They, they would look out for us like we was their child or something like that. Mm -hmm. But it was just, they would scare us on the way. You know, they would make us fight each other, you know, wrestle with us. You know, stuff the older kids do. Mm -hmm. You know, and they would go across town to play basketball, go see girls. And we would, like, be their little puppets or, or like, their little pets. You know what I'm saying? Correct. And uh, the thing about it was, was coming back across town. There was three ways to get back across town to where we stayed. If you could take the, the easy way, which was the longest way, it would be walking around the road and just keep up with the road. And you could just, you know, watch out for traffic. Mm -hmm. The second one was you had to go through some trees, but the trees, the grass was so high, it was like you was just high stepping all the way through them, and the trees were so so, were so tight, it's like every time you move, you're touching the tree limb or you're breaking it. And the third one was the quickest, but this is what the scariest one. It was through a graveyard. Mm. So we've been through this graveyard plenty of times before in my childhood, and they didn't want to take the long way. They didn't want to take the medium way. And the course was getting dark. They're like, man, we're going to take the short way. And me and the rest of the little kids just, just walk with me, which is my cousin and them or whatever. We looking at each other like, man, we got to keep it with the big boys. We all scared. You know, we holding on to their shirt. They smacking our hands back. Saying, man, y'all stop being scared because we know what they're going to do. This is what they do. Mm -hmm. When they get to the front of the um the graveyard, they'll take off running. And literally, you got to catch up with these big boys. But in the back of this graveyard, it's a big opening where they bring the bodies in whenever they're doing like a funeral or a church, whatever, it's a big wide space, but the graveyard is huge, mm -hmm. but you've got to run through it and get to the back and it leads to immediate road and you cross the road and you in our neighborhood. So just like I knew they was going to do it when we got to the graveyard, they literally took off and just left us. And mm -hmm. us little kids, we running, we crying, we hollering, we running, we running. Mm -hmm. And you know, the headstones that be flat, but they face up. Mm -hmm. I end up running and falling on one. Damn. Boom. So I fell on it. And I'm looking at everybody else's shirts, and it's just the shirts, and next thing you know, they disappear. So I get up, get myself together, and I take out running again. The next thing you know, I'm looking up at the sky. Mm. And I look around, and I realize, man, I've actually fell in an open grave. Damn. Like, wow. Hold like on. Hold, you, hold that thought. Hold that thought right yeah. there. Hold that thought. Damn. It's an open grave. Spooky. Continue on. Spooky. So like I told y'all, I'm literally between five and seven at this time. So I'm literally right there trying to climb up it, but it's like clay-like. And then I'm trying to holler like, hey, I'm down here, but my calls went unanswered. So I'm thinking I'm down there between one and three minutes. And you know, like you hear the grass mm -hmm. or the, or the, uh, or the uh, ground like rustling towards you. Correct. So I'm listening. I'm thinking it's one of my people's. I'm like, hey, I'm right here. So I look and it's an old man that walks right there. And like the moon got him like glowing a little bit. Mm. And I ain't feel no fear, no nothing. He was like, you all right? It's like, let me get you out of the young man. So he rushed down there, pulled me straight up, and I literally turned around and started running. I turned around, I saw him, young man, make it on home. So I literally ran through, finished the graveyard, ran to the old spot, crossed the road, and uh, like a street over, we was, at, we was at my house or whatever. So I got there, and all the older boys laughing, like, ah, you, you turned around with you? I said, nah, I came through the graveyard. Mm. And I was like, man, y'all left me. They was like, man, hey, man, everybody leave you, man. You know you got to keep up. So I told him what happened about me falling in that grave and the man get me out there. Nobody, but he's never like, man, you probably went the wrong way, man. You were scared. So I was like, no, I didn't. So they acting like I was gone a long time. 
But in my mind, I felt like I was gone some minutes or so. Mm. But kind of find out it was like 30 minutes that I was done. I ain't even noticed till later on in my life. So wow. to make the long story short, so the next day, <laughs> we at my grandma's house. And that's what you know, like when you're young, your brothers, your sisters, your cousins, y'all you meet up at your grandma's house. Mm -hmm. So my mama, my grandma, and my aunts, then they go into the front room. So I'm telling my mama something, and I see she got a pocket button in her hand, like some fans that you wave yourself with at church and an obituary. So mm -hmm. she lay it face up, and she's telling my grandma something, and I look at it. Why this is the same man's face and everything he had on to hit me if I take grave? Wow. That's spooky. Hold on, bro. That's spooky as hell. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We'll be up with the spooky and yeah. Hold on. I got to hit the spooky on that. Spooky! Continue on, bro. Pound that like button, y'all. Let's get and it. Y'all pound that like button. Y'all get these exclusives. Yeah, that's so exclusive. So the thing about it was, mm -hmm. yeah. I asked my mom, I said, who is, who is that on this picture? She said, it's Mr. Odell. She said, that was a good man in our neighborhood. He helped everybody. He was a revolutionary. She said, that man even helped you in death. He even help you in death. Mm. He would even help you in death. Mm. And that man helped me get out that grave. That's my wow. first story the other night, y'all. Fire. Get prepared. I'm coming. Fire. Yeah, you came with that smoke, my brother. Listen. Yo, he, he got right off the line. Shout out to Manson Musa. I know he's still on the check-in. Yo, he's one of the... He's becoming a spooky hours OG because he's been around. You know, he told stories, but, you know, he, you know here and there, but now... He's been coming with it like damn near every time I go live on Spooky Hours, he coming with some of the most craziest stories. Shouts to DJ Moschino in the building, one third of that unsung hero. Shouts to DJ Superior Moschino in the building. Salute, King. Yo, Massa Musa, stories is fire. We're going we gonna to do a whole series with him. We're going to do a whole series with Peach. We're going to do a whole series with Lala. We're going to do a whole series with Ebony from Detroit. Eb, where you at? So certain people... They spooky hours OG. We're gonna do a whole series with Malcolm. So we got the spooky hours series out now. The mini series on the app in the Apple Store. Get it while you can. Get it. Cause I keep telling y'all, get it, man. Don't wait while it's here. Let's get it though. Um, I'm gonna get back into this 50 cent thing too. But if you got a spooky story, call me up. You know what I mean? If I miss your call, call me up. I know a lot of people been calling. Call me up. The lines is open. Ben, I see you call. Who else called? A lot of people been calling. Peace. Peace. Mute your audio. Mute your audio. Mimi, mute your audio. I am, I am, I am. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to. Okay. Talk to me. Yes. Hey, hey, is this 50 hours? Yes, it's spooky hours. Okay. You know who this is? This is your sister, Malika. What's going on, Malika? Remember, we making my movie. Oh, my yeah. Story. You, we we going to get to that, right. too. Yes, we getting to that. Right. Yes. Yes. Okay. So um, tonight, I just wanted to tell one of the stories. I don't want to tell a lot because we're going to be getting to a lot in the movie, in the okay. series. Okay. Okay, that's my chat. <laughs> okay, well, um, you know, I was in a coma. Mm. And coming out of a coma, I now, I see spirits on a constant, I mean, constantly. Mm. Like, they're right here right now. Spooky. Okay, and I hear them all constantly. Mm. Okay, so this mm. one day, me and my husband were laying in the bed, right? And I turn over and I look. And it's this white woman. Her name is Dana. Mm -hmm. And half of her head is gone. Hey. That's crazy. And That's coming crazy. out of the coma, it was so hard for me to decipher who was a spirit and who was real. Mm. Spooky! So, mm -hmm. Keep going. Keep going. So I asked my husband, do you see her? Do, do you see her? He said, who, who the hell else? Oh, excuse me. Who else would be in our bedroom? And I said, she's saying her name is Dana. And she's giving me this phone number. And I'm trying to ignore her. Well, while I'm trying to ignore her, she's budging. She's pulling at my thing. And he's like, wait a minute. Who's he pulling you? I said, it's her. She wants me to call this number. Mm. And he said, well, I'll support you. Go ahead. Call. 
I called the number he told me to ask for Elizabeth mm. and Mark. So I called and I asked for Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. And I said, um, I know you don't know me. Now, these is white people. Okay. Mm -hmm. I said, I know you don't know me. I said, but Dana had, and she said, whoa, wait, how do you know Dana? Mm. And I said, first, let me finish. She's telling me what to tell you. I said, Dana is telling me to tell you that the shotgun is under the house. Mm. And that Reggie did it. Wow. And she's saying, what are you talking about? And I said, she told me to tell you to call the police and look under the grate, the second grate that's under the house and the shotgun is under there mm. and to go and get it. And she said, wait a minute, who are you? So I told her my name and I told her my full name because I didn't want to, you know, look like I was a crazy lunatic. Mm -hmm. So I then said, um, and Mark is because it was Mark's best friend. Mm. Now, Mark's best friend, who was this Reggie or Reginald, mm -hmm. they would call him. They were rich. Now, Elizabeth and all them, they're rich. Mark, however, is, I mean, uh, not Reg Reginald, is it? So he was um, messing around with, he was Mo, he was uh, essaying their daughter, mm. the little girl. Wow. Okay. Um, Dana came in and caught it. And before she can go out, he blew her head off. Wow. With the shotgun. Okay. Um, then made it like it was, I guess, he left her there and then hid the shotgun and ran. The mm. little girl, she had stopped speaking. She went mute mm. over everything. Um, I then asked if I could be on speakerphone, and I said, it's Mark, it's your friend Reginald. For one, he's been jealous of you. For two, he's wanted Dana. And for three, he's been, you know, essaying your, mm -hmm. your daughter for the last three years. Mm. And he went off and he said, there's no way you can know half the stuff. Mm. Well, ask, if you do, ask Dana to tell you our address. So I did. And then they dropped the phone and I'm sitting here like, hello. And I'm, I'm, I'm nervous. I'm telling my husband, they probably think I'm crazy or this and that. He said they couldn't possibly mm. because wow. they live in an exclusive little place. So at this point, now the police have come. I've spoken to the little girl and I told her, your mom told me to tell you it's not your fault that she's gone. And she would do it all over again if someone else touched you. Mm. And you can now speak. And she just started crying. Until this day, she calls me her godmom. Um, the family is always trying to give me money. And I don't want to take their money. Mm. You know what I mean? Because mm. this was a spirit that came to me. And I don't want to involve monetary value in that. Right. I, don't, I don't know how this whole spirit world works and all that. All I know is it's real. And it was, I mean... It, it was devastating, mm. honestly. It was really devastating. And I cried, and I'm about to cry again because mm. remembering Dana and how she looked, and as a mom, I can understand what she meant by, I do it again. They can blow my head off, too, if you think you're going to touch my child. Mm. And she said, over my dead body, and he did just that. Mm. He blew her head off. Wow. And it was um, very deep. But this is just one of the many things that we, me, you, E, are going to talk about. And it gets even deeper. 
Definitely. it gets way deeper. Well, well, and I, did you receive mm -hmm. the yeah. pictures that I sent you of the basement? Um, when did you send the pictures? Um, I'll if you want, I'll resend them. Yeah, I emailed. I mean, yeah, I we send the pictures. So look, this is what I'm gonna do because I gotta take these other callers, but we're gonna definitely mm -hmm. produce this story as well as the others. All right. So um, I, okay. I, I'll call you tomorrow, you know what I'm saying, or, uh, you know, behind do. the scenes, all right? Okay, please all do, right. because we might have meetings with some people. I got you. Not a problem. Okay. All right. Okay, got Peace. you. Love you to life. All right. Love. Oh. Yeah, y'all, Spooky Hours is back. That was a phenomenal story. Shouts to uh, Mimi on, on that. Hit up with the spooky. spooky. So we're gonna get back to this 50 cent thing because a lot of people in here for that. Um, a lot of y'all that may not know about the spooky hours show. This is episode, I want to say 119 or episode 120, either one. We do this show called Spooky Hours where people call me up with their supernatural experiences, all right. But also what I do, I cover what's on the landscape currently. So I, I sometimes I blend the spooky hours show with what's on the landscape. So right now, what's on the landscape that I'm covering is the Ed Lover 50 Cent Diddy thing. So I'm, I'm about to get back into that. I'm, you know what I mean? I'm in between both. You know what I mean? I'm multitasking over here. So stay with me. This is the channel you want to stay on. We got a lot of exclusive interviews and the best content. You're never going to get no content like this nowhere. And shout out to everybody, you know, that's celebrating Easter and all that. You know what I mean? Easter night, Sunday. Come on, man. Spooky hours, you're getting spooky hours, and the app is out. You can get the spooky hours app on in the Apple store with the whole TV shows. Come on, man. The full TV show. Come on. All right, let's get back to the 50 cent thing. Watch, I'm gonna change the picture just like that. Bang. All right, we're getting right back to it, and I'm gonna um bring it back, and then y'all can call me on that time too. Well, let me skip this ad. Let's get it. All right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Let's go. My bad. Hold on, y'all. My bad. I forgot to um stream it. I'm just doing so much. My bad. Pound that like button, y'all. Subscribe to Forgotten Kings TV 2.0. Let's get it, y'all. It's my brother Rip Channel. Their eyes and in the back of their minds, you ain't nothing mm -hmm. but a. And, and that's all you ever yeah. gonna be. I don't give a f how much money you worth to me. You are, and don't get out of pocket. Why did all this stuff start happening? Be right with the Diageo. To me, this shit is written on the wall, plain to see for anybody right. to see yeah. that that there's somebody, they, somebody that got some money want to uh, put in their foot in Puff's ass. I'm telling you. What's up, everybody? This is the world famous Ed Lover, and you are watching Forgotten Kings. TV. That's right. Forgotten Kings TV. Come on, son. Earlier this week, Miami rap legend Uncle Luke responds to Diddy getting his house raided by federal agents. According to Uncle Luke, he believes that Diddy is being targeted by Diageo, the liquor company. Now, for those who may not know, Diddy sued Diageo, accusing them of discrimination. However, early this year, Diddy withdrew his lawsuit against Diageo after it was reported that Diddy and Diageo resolved their issues behind closed doors, making Diageo the sole owner of Ciroc Vodka and Diddy owned tequila. Now, remember, Diddy was the face of Ciroc, right? Him and his branding is the reason why Ciroc became one of the popular alcohol brands at the time. And of course, the same success he had with Ciroc. 
he was attempting to do the same for Dillion. And for whatever reason, Diageo had other plans. So now people are sitting back after seeing what happened this week with Diddy and his family, right? Seeing his family in handcuffs. Pound that like button. I'm going to return back to this footage, but run the likes up. The like button is free. Run the likes up so other people get, get recommended this live. Run the likes up. All right? Let's get it, y'all. Of seeing Diddy uh, stopped by federal agents at Miami airport, even though it was reported that, you know, Diddy was on the run. However, that isn't the case, right? Diddy is a free man as of right now. And people are starting to look at this whole situation differently. Now, for those who may not know, yesterday, uh, Diddy was spotted hanging out at Top Golf with his kids, right? So now, after, you know, reports of Diddy being on the run, now we're starting to see a change in the narrative, right? Now we're starting to see that, you know, maybe Diddy, you know, has a possibility of beating this thing. Again, these are all accusations. We haven't seen any evidence, right, pulled from these raids. But again, now other people are coming out this week, coming forward to speak up on behalf of Diddy. And one of those people is the famous Ed Love. Now, yesterday, Ed Love took to his podcast, the Come On Son podcast, to respond to Diddy's house being raided by federal agents. According to Ed Love, he believes the IGO was the ones responsible for the witch hunt we seen take place with Diddy and his family this week. So now we got Ed Love agreeing with Uncle Luke when he says he believes that Diddy is being targeted. Okay, according to Ed Love, he believes Diageo was the one targeting Puff. All right. Now, before we get into what Ed Lover had to say in its entirety, I'll make sure to leave the link in the description so you can hear everything that was said. And also, what are your thoughts on these claims? Do you agree with Uncle Luke, Ed Lover, and others who say that Diddy is being targeted? Do you think there's some truth to these claims or do you disagree? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. But that's all I got for y'all today. My name is Sensei Grip. Till next time. Peace. But I've known Diddy for well over 30 years. And all I could go by is how Diddy treated me. We were always respectful, always yeah. cool. Yeah. We were supposed to do some business together that didn't pan out. Yeah. Um, but we've always been cool all the time. Always yeah. the Playboy this, Playboy that. Mm -hmm. I actually, funny thing is, I have Diddy with my sign, original sign, doing, come on, son. I don't think I've seen yeah, that. Yeah, somebody sent it to me. So I got Diddy with the Come On Sun sign. So it's always cool being in the presence of Diddy. Always cool being at Diddy's parties. I have never been involved or seen any of his quote unquote freak offs right. that people are saying that right. he had. I was, right. I was never a part of that. Um, I always knew when it was time to go home. Uh, but it's somebody, there's some, I believe what I just saw Uncle Luke say mm -hmm. earlier today that this is a machine coming after this dude. Yeah. Like, I think, and I said this publicly, and now for the first time I'm going to say this on my podcast, I think it's Diageo. Really? Diageo is f***ing powerful. Mm -hmm. These people put money behind political campaigns. They're the second or the third largest alcohol distribution, yeah, distribution yeah. company in, in the for the world. world. Mm -hmm. Right, and Suntory is one of them, too. Yeah. But Diageo is big. Puff made a lot of money for Diageo yeah. and with Diageo yeah. with Ciroc. Ciroc became so big that Diageo was fine with people thinking it was Puffy's liquor and never was. Yeah. Well, then here comes the De Leon. The De Leon. Right. Mm -hmm. And De Leon comes out and then they buy Casamigos from George Clooney and them for $400 yeah. million. So, of course, if I just spent $400 million or something or however much they gave George Clooney as partner, I'm going to start pushing that. Yeah. And De Leon kind of got pushed on the back burner. Mm -hmm. And then Puff all of a sudden decides to sue them for racial discrimination. All of this shit comes out right after that. Mm -hmm. Right after the Cassie case came up. Mm -hmm. Then all the other cases from the Adult Survivors Act in New York came up. Now the kid Little Rod, who's supposed to be a videographer or a producer, produced on his last album. Mm -hmm. All his shit is coming up. He's suing everybody. Mm -hmm. All of this shit is coming Right after he said, Diageo, y'all racially discriminated against me and tried to sue him. We know how the f a lot of people feel about black people. Yeah. When you get money with them and they getting a lot of money, you got to always remember in their eyes and in the back of their minds, you ain't nothing mm -hmm. but a n and, and that's you, all you're ever yeah. going to be. I don't give a f how much money you worth. To me, you a and don't mm -hmm. get out of pocket. Why did all this stuff start happening? 
Be, right with the Diageo, to me, this shit is written on the wall, plain to see for anybody right. to see yeah. that that there's somebody, babe, somebody that got some money want to uh, put in their foot in Puff's ass. I'm telling you, he had to sell his shares of Revolt. He has no ownership of Revolt no more. No, I know he doesn't. Mm-hmm. His reputation as a businessman is shot. He'll never get another distribution deal. Bad Boy Records, for the most part, are done. Yeah. It's done, babe. Mm-hmm. It's done. Somebody out there f- puff worse than they tried to f- Russell Simmons. This is the thing where people are failing to to realize where everything, all the raids and all that. Puff has yet to be arrested. Mm-hmm. He has not been arrested, but he's being vilified, and he hasn't been formally charged with any crime. I think they just want to ridicule him and bring him down to nothing. But why? 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 Babe, <clears throat> here's my shit. There have been up. several radio corporations yeah. that shall remain nameless, and I know who they are, you do too, because I do. told you, mm-hmm. that have stopped playing Puff's music. Yeah. Don't play his drops. Don't play him in the mix. Don't do anything. Let me play the devil's advocate for a second if I, if I can. Mm-hmm. Why isn't any streaming services taking Harvey Weinstein shit now? Exactly. He was over New Line. If exactly. that's the case, then you can't play Who's the Man no more. Why are we worrying about Puff at this time right now? You need to be going up in Nickelodeon. Okay. You talk, right. All of it, you need to be in Nickelodeon. The shit that they've been doing for years. Years. To these children. Children. Right. That's where you need to be. Puff, to me, is being vilified mm-hmm. to keep our stupid ass black minds off of what we should be paying mm-hmm. attention to, and that's this election, and mm-hmm. that is these Senate seats and these congressional mm-hmm. seats that is going to shape what America mm-hmm. is for the next four years. Yeah, and we're too busy worrying about did he do it? Mm-hmm. And let me tell you something. You know, as much as I love Fifty, yeah. I think Fifty is stepping over the line now. I really do. Funny is funny. I even I even do my three random facts on my Ed Lover experience. Mm-hmm. I even had a random fact that said the federal government ran up in Diddy's house, his L.A. mansion and his Miami mansion. And then I repeat it. And then I do the punchline. And the punchline was they found something everybody been looking for. Farnsworth Bentley. Mm-hmm. But he's kicking the shit out this nigga while he's down. Yeah, y'all. So that's Ed Lover, you know, explaining what he think is the reason behind all these Diddy allegations being brought to the forefront. Um, So then also feeling like 50 is kicking his back in while he's down. He's not feeling that. So call me up. I'm opening the lines again. 310-598-2974. Shouts to my brother Rip. That's from his channel, Forgotten Kings TV 2.0. Subscribe to that. Let's get it. You know how we cover people. We do it so official. That's my brother. You know what I mean? I'm showing people by example how you cover somebody's content without hating, without acting like you competing. I'm showing everybody, and I've been doing this. So this is how you give it up over here. So call me up, 310-598-2974. I know a lot of people been wanting to call me up on this uh, segment. The lines is open. But if not, call me with your spooky story. Let me know how you're feeling. Let me see what they're talking about in the chat room. (laughs) Somebody said 50 kicking them with a dirty-ass leg at that. Salute to the wreck mob. Run the lights up. I see my brother Tyson in the room. What y'all talking about? How y'all feeling about um what you're feeling about Ed Lover and his um perspective? Peace. We got Ebony from Detroit on the line. What's happening, Eb? Peace. What's going on, Eric Mob, everybody? How y'all doing out there tonight? Everything is good, Eb. Everything is good. What's happening? You know, you know we got that spooky I was at, right? Oh yeah, I know. That's what's up. Been waiting on it. Yeah, yeah. What you got? You got an app or you got a, a droid? Nope, I got a droid. You got a droid. Okay. The official for you, I 
you you can get it. But the official droid announcement would be probably in a day or two. You know what I'm saying? But you know, uh, Google they put a test app out. But you know, I'm telling my people it's not official yet. But if you can watch the TV show on your droid, you know, watch it while you can. You feel me? Okay. So, yep. so, gotcha. You know what I mean? Yeah. But um, talk to me, Ab. You calling? You got a spooky story, or you was just tapping in? Um, I got a spooky story that I want to hit on real fast. Okay, let's let's get it. Ed. I'm about okay. to change. I'm about so, to change the um the screen. Yeah, make it spooky for you. Right. There you go. Can you see that? I want to talk. About, I want to talk about a few years ago where, um, my friend, her daughter was about four years old, mm. and they was driving down the street past her uh, mother's house. Mm -hmm. My friend's mother's house. And her daughter looked to the right and she said, um, she looked to the right and she said, she told her daughter, her mother, she said, oh my God, um, I lived there before. But her, her daughter was only, like I said, four. Mm. So she had no recollection that her grandmother had passed away at that time. Mm. And uh, my friend daughter was describing that same exact day when her grandmother passed away, but she wasn't born yet. Wow. That's, that's, the, hold on, that's spooky as hell. Hold on, let me, let me get the spooky out. That's spooky as hell. Spooky! Continue on. Yeah, so it was, it was almost like um, my friend's daughter had been here before. Mm. And um, my friend, so she pulled over her vehicle and she was talking to her daughter and she was telling me that her daughter was appearing almost as if her mother was speaking through her daughter. Mm. And she said that all she could do was just pull over. She said she screamed at first, but she said uh, she didn't want to, like, scare her daughter. Mm -hmm. But she pulled over and she said she just uh, cried because mm. she couldn't believe that her four-year-old daughter was speaking as if she had been here before. And that was her first time ever. Wow, that's that's spooky. That's a that's an ill story. Spooky. Thank you, Ab. Always coming through. You the spooky hours OG. You one of the spooky hours OGs. You know, You're welcome. Telling those dope stories back to back for years now. You know what I mean? And I and I got oh, yeah. you. And I and I mentioned you earlier. I said you one of the uh spooky hours OGs that I'm gonna probably have a whole spooky hours TV series with. Like y'all gonna have, you know what I mean? We're gonna do a whole whole season with you you know what i mean oh, okay. you you uh -huh. peaches massa musa malcolm all, all the spooky hours ogs the people who told phenomenal stories you know we gonna do a whole season with y'all so i got you Ab. you know what i mean i appreciate all right. you all right all right appreciate you too all right peace Ab. all right all right bye. peace Peace. 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 What up, though? M. Rack. Peace to the guy. Peace. Peace. What's up? Peace, G.O.D. Scorpio. Listen. Scorpio. What's yeah, up? Talk, talk, Scorpio. Yeah. Talk, talk to me. You got, Man, a, listen. you got a spooky story or are you talking about the 50 Cent at Lover situation and Diddy situation? Yeah, I'm talking about the, the 50 and the Diddy situation. Okay. Let me get that on uh, the screen. I, yeah. I, I think that is the spooky story. Okay. Let's get um, it. Um. Man, listen, I think um, I think this is one of those areas where, as black people, a lot of times, you know, um, it be seen in like black people is the worst thing to happen to black people sometimes because, mm. one, the man ain't even been charged with nothing, mm -hmm. you know, and they make it to where you scared to to speak truth and fact to the situation because if you point out something that's true then they're gonna try to put you in the whole in, the, in that whole block and that's the easiest thing to get canceled behind mm. you know um you can't talk about mm. that you got a grown person that's going online picking the people who it is that they want to engage and that they attracted to you know, for 10 years, and then all of a sudden, they are hostage to that situation. 
you can't speak about that. Because mm. if you speak about that, then they're going to say you badgering the victim. You know, mm -hmm. um, you can't speak about anything really that make you say, okay, at what point is we going to, is we going to separate what's, what's going on between children and what's going on between adults? You know, um, you can't speak about that. Mm -hmm. Because if you speak about that, then they're going to say, okay, yeah, well, she was 25 or she was 30, you know, but still, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, they, they, they put them into the same category. And then mm -hmm. even down here in North Carolina right now, you got radio stations that's having the questions to um, T. Diddy um, records and stuff still be played on the radio. He ain't even been charged with a crime. Mm. You know, and, 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 and when you look at the allegations, what, for the most part, the biggest part of the allegations is he into some freaky stuff mm -hmm. that you might not be into. Mm. But it ain't really pointing out to no real illegal stuff. Mm -hmm. So I don't know, man. It's just, it's just hard. You know, I wish people would would call it down the line and allow people allow a person to maintain their innocence until they're convicted or something. Mm. Okay. That's all I got. I got you. I appreciate you tapping in, my brother. Yeah. Good commentary. Make sure you get that spooky I was at at the Apple store. <laughs> um, let's get it, y'all. Yeah, we pushing that spooky I was at. Um, everybody who's a spooky hours supporter, spooky hours you know, uh, part of the Spooky Hours family. Make sure you get that app from the Apple Store leave a, and leave a five-star rating as well as a comment. You know what I mean? Download that app. Y'all been asking me for the app. It's here. The Patreon, you can get everything. You know what I mean? The Patreon slash MREC TV, that's where you can watch the movie Best Friends that people is still hitting me up about. You see, at the top of the show, people still talking about best friends is a classic movie um you can only get it on the patreon.com slash mrec tv sj is going to put that information there we got my brother massa musa on the line massa musa talk to me brother yes sir yes sir man shout out to everybody that's calling in everybody showing love don't forget to that like button and support by going to get that app or mm -hmm. throwing in the cash out baby wow that's a fact matter of so, fact i, I, I didn't even I didn't even put my band up. Thank you for reminding me. Damn, I be doing yeah, so much. Yeah, up there, King. Yeah, uh, appreciate that, King. Yeah, let's 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 get it, y'all. The link for the uh app is also in the chat room. I'm gonna put it on the screen mm -hmm. as well. And Mansa Musa, you got another story for us tonight? Yes, sir. I got four of them to be exact. This is number two. Remember uh -huh. again, you guys. I'm reminding you the fourth story I'm gonna tell tonight. This is number two. But the fourth story I tell tonight come with a dare. I'm the first person on Spooky Hours to do a spooky story, and it's going to be a dare that's number four. It's right here's number two, so stay tuned for number four. Let's but I'm get it. you got number two right now if I got Rick's permission. You got it. Let's get it. All right. Here we go. This story right here took place about 15 years ago. This was the first time I actually got shot, but I had on a vest. Mm. So I'm from South Carolina. Um, it's these infamous projects in North Carolina. Um that was called uh, Rumblewood or Rumblewood, you know, so we used to call them because you go up and you go to some gunfire rumbling or you're going to be rumbling and get back out. Mm -hmm. So South Carolina and North Carolina got this robbery where South Carolina will get along with North Carolina and see your tag or North Carolina will get along with South Carolina and see your tag. But anyway, we had met some girls from up through that way and they invited us up to come chill with them. So me and a couple of my homeboys, we rolled up through there in our cars or whatever. And of course, the North Carolina guys see that it's the South Carolina tag. So when we pulled up in these infinite projects, you know, I'm from the hood, you know, I get down how I used to get down back in the day. So I kept it with me, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying, something hot. But, uh, and everybody with me was about that life too. So um, we pull up and then we park out the cars, they looking, and we going up in the projects and uh, go upstairs and talk to these girls. So I got to the point, I was like, look, man, y'all just follow us back down by the way, because I don't feel comfortable up here like that. Mm -hmm. They're whipping these infinite projects, you know how it goes. So when we come back downstairs to leave, like the literally whole entire building was, was the breezeway was filled up with just guys. I already knew what it was. I'm like the last person at the end. My guys walked through, the girls was going, people kind of bumping a little bit. So um, 
I guess it was one of the girls' baby daddies or something. He pushed her, and I'm trying to walk on by like, hey, man, y'all do y'all thing. And he swung at me. So I ducked and hit this guy. This guy fell. Mm. Next thing you know, it's going down in the hallway. Mm. So some shots start ringing out. So I'm actually backing up, trying to get the breeway. As I'm grabbing my gun, this guy hit me point blank range like three times in the chest. Boom, boom, boom. Mm. I'll never forget the gunfire. So when I woke up, I was actually getting put inside my car. Like, I don't remember falling or nothing. I was actually getting put inside my car, but it was my homeboy that put me in my car. And I was like,
Peace. Peace, can you hear me? Peace. Can you hear me? Salute, salute, can you hear me? Back mob, can you hear me? Okay. I don't know what's going on my computer. I'm gonna have to get it serviced because it's, it's been bugging out lately. Lately, I don't know what's going on, but I think it's just time for me to service it. All right, run the lights up, y'all, because you know we had a thousand people rocking out and we lost people because the sound went out. So I'm gonna have. What's the last thing y'all heard Master Musa say in the story? Now I gotta check. Um. To make sure YouTube is connected to the stream yard. Whole bunch of technical stuff. Let me see. Let me see. Can you hear me? Run the lights up. I'm gonna see if everything's working. Oh, I gotta fix the link for best friends. I got you. I'm gonna update a new um I'm gonna put a new link for the best friends on the Patreon. I got you, Blue. I got you. Run the likes up, y'all. Now nah, we here. It's just a computer. It ain't nobody doing nothing. That's 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 on me. It's on my computer. Run the likes up, y'all. See, this is why you gotta run the likes up so we can get the recommendations. Let's get the people back in the room. Master Musa, call me up. Let's get it back. Matter of fact, let me go back into the Diddy thing and, um, you know, let me get the numbers back up. So let me, I'm going to play the Ed Lover clip with him speaking on 50 and Diddy. And then we're going to get Master Musa back on the line because he was telling a dope story. Let's get it. You know, we ain't letting nothing stop us. We got the app out. We, we ain't letting nothing stop us. Hold on, where's the uh, okay? Here we go. All right, let's let's get it, y'all. There we go. Always something, right? Run the lights up. It froze up. What's the last thing you heard? And I can't see my images. I was not showing me anything. Okay. Let me take this off the screen. All right. All right. Let's get it, y'all. You worrying about Puff at this time right now. You need to be going up in Nickelodeon. Okay. You talk, right. All of it, you need to be in Nickelodeon. The shit that they've been doing for years. Years. To these children. Children. Right. That's where you need to be. Puff, to me, is being vilified mm -hmm. to keep our stupid-ass black minds off of what we should be paying mm -hmm. attention to, and that's this election. And mm -hmm. that is these Senate seats and these congressional mm -hmm. seats that is going to shape what America mm -hmm. is for the next four years. Yeah. And we're too busy worrying about, did he do it? Mm -hmm. And let me tell you something. You know as much as I love 50. Yeah. I think 50 is stepping over the line now. I really do. Funny is funny. I even I even do my three random facts on my Ed Lover experience. I even had a random fact that said the federal government ran up in Diddy's house's L.A. mansion and his Miami mansion. And then I repeat it and then I do the punchline. And the punchline was they found something everybody been looking for. Fonsworth Bentley. Mm -hmm. But he's kicking the shit out this nigga while he's down. Pound that like button. We getting Master Musa back on the line. We got my my brother Amon Davis on the um super chat. Appreciate you, everybody who dropped the super chat. I appreciate y'all. Um, everybody who dropped the cash app. I appreciate y'all from whether it was today or the other day I went live. Everybody who downloaded the app, bought the subscription. You know what I'm saying on the Apple Store. I appreciate y'all. Everybody who ever bought an episode, Spooky Hours, or anybody who ever. Drop the donation, you know, throughout the years or throughout the months, throughout the days. Love is love. Appreciate y'all. Um, y'all the reason why Spooky Hours is 
you know, successful. Y'all the reason why Spooky Hours is an app, why Spooky Hours Spooky has, has a TV series. You know what I mean? Without y'all, I couldn't do it. So continue to support, and I'm going to continue to put on for y'all. You know what I mean? You see, even with, you know, technical difficulties happening, I'm still pushing the line. I'm sounding spooky now. How's my mic? My mic sounding spooky? What's going on? Is, is Do I sound decent? Can you hear me? Shouts to song, songs by Alicia. Can you hear me? Put a thumbs up if my mic is decent or my mic is spooky. Okay. Miss Miss J said I sound good. Okay. All right. Let's get um Master Moose on the line. Let me open the lines up. My bad. Just so much over here. Like, it's technical. It's real technical to do this show. All right, call me up. Shouts to Danny Devine. I appreciate you. Thank you. Let's get it, y'all. All right, I got the lines open, Master Musa. So everybody wants wants to hear your story. They was loving the story. Man, I appreciate you. All here, I see you. We crispy now? All right, salute. Master Musa, where you at, my brother? The lines is open. Let's get it. Um, yeah, I got to get my mic back going. I think the computer is wilding out. Amon Davis on the Cash App and the Super Chat. My brother be always supporting. I know he got that app. Let's get it. Let me see where Mansa Moose is at. I'm going to try to call him. Automatic voice message. Master Moose, what's happening, good brother? Man, it's hella spooky, bro. Yeah, I don't know what's Ooh. going on, man. I think I gotta get my um computer service. It's been I've been rocking out. Nah, you know they mean? own you. <laughs> they own me. Okay. Yeah, they sending them on you, bro. They say you get too much attention and putting out too much information, and it's making it spooky. Yeah, they calling up crazy too. I see people calling man. up crazy. It's all good. Pound that like button, man. This is spooky hours. You know, let's let's get it. We got Mansa Musa. Yo, Mansa Musa, uh, I don't know where you was at in the story when the when the audio. <laughs> I'm, gonna just, I'm gonna just run it back, man. It's yeah. all love, man. Ain't nothing. All right, run it back, y'all. Pound that yeah. like button, y'all. Let's get the likes up. We got close to 700 people still in the room. Run the likes up so we can get everybody who left the room to come back. Let's get it. All right, once again, I'm telling four stories tonight. Ooh. This is number two, and I'm gonna do something that ain't never been done. My fourth story is going to come with the dare. So with that being said, the story number two, so stay um, in tune later on so y'all can hear the dare with the number four story. But okay, so um, I'm from South Carolina. Okay. And uh, in North Carolina, we had a rivalry. South Carolina, North Carolina, we see each other tags. We know you from, from a different part of the state. We have an issue. It's just something we had back in the day. So this right here happened like uh, 15 years ago. So it was this infamous project in North Carolina called Rumblewood or Rumblewood. But it was called um, Rumblewood because you're going to hear some gunfire or you're going to go up in there rumbling to get back out. So uh, me and my homeboys, we had met some girls from up to that way. So they called us up one day, told us to come chill. So we went that way to go up there to go chill, you know, pull up in the infamous projects, whatever. And these guys seen our tag, seen we went from there, seen we from North, seen we from South Carolina. And um, we went up the steps, whatever. We So we ended up chilling with the girls. So I was like, look, man, I don't feel too comfortable up here. You know, let's just head back down to South Carolina to one hour spot. And we just chill, so everybody was like, cool. So when we went there, it wasn't too many people in the breezeway, but when we came back out, it was just totally just full with just nothing but dudes. So everybody was coming out, my homeboy, them, the girls, and whatever, and I'm last. <clears throat> so we walking through the crowd or whatever, and I guess this dude, it was his baby mama or something, so they started arguing, and they got into it. So I'm moving back like, hey, that's on them. So me and this guy, you know what I'm saying, had a word or two, and this dude swung, got duck, I hit him, he fell. So I'm trying to get up out of the crowd or whatever, kind of backing up. And this dude walks up to me, point blank range, point this gun at my chest. Like I said, I used to wear vests back then because I was heavy in the streets. Like, I'm really about that life. But not now, but for the right reasons. Dude, right. I remember three shots, pow, 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 and I failed. And when I woke up, my homeboy then was putting me in the car. So I'm like, well, what went on, man? What was going on? What y'all doing? I was like, bro, you done been shot. So I'm like, no, nah, I'm good, I'm good. So I'm trying to fight them or whatever. So I end up grabbing my keys from my cousin. And I was like, man, I'm going to try. So I end up cranking up the car, pulling off. We all speeding. And we get like a mile away and I black out. And when I wake up, I'm in the hospital. I got on the hospital gown. 
They got me hooked up to these IVs, to these machines, and my homeboy, them sitting around me, and they kind of tell me what's going on, and the doctor come in, and they leave out. So the doctor come in and start explaining to me what happened to my body, the trauma, what he's going to do, what they're going to have to do. So I'm like, cool. So he shut the door and go back out. And in this corner, the Grand Weeper standing right there looking dead at me. I could see this thing plain as day. Mm. I wasn't scared of nothing. It just shot me because he was just standing there looking at me. And it talked to me telepathically. It said, are you ready to go? And I remember saying in my mind, no, I'm not ready to go. And they asked me again, are you ready to go? And I said, no, I'm not ready to go. And my homeboy didn't talk to the door. And I was like, man, what do you say? What do you say? What do you say? So I'm trying to tell them. I, yeah, I was like, I, hold on, hold on. So I'm trying to explain to them and explain to them what I just seen and what just happened to me. And they was like, man, it's probably the, the medicine they give you, hallucinate. And I'm asking them, am, am I hallucinating? Or what's going on? Like, what's the day-to-day? Is it really going on today? Like, I felt like I was going crazy. Mm-hmm. So like 15 minutes later, the doctor came back in. He said, they can stay in if they want to. They was like, no, nah, we just step out. Just tell me your personal business with him. So the doctor talked back to me again. He explained it to me what they got to do. This, that, and the third. It's a swelling on me real bad. This, that, and the third. So he walks back out, and this thing is standing literally right there in the corner again looking at me. Mm. And it talks to me as this is walking toward me. And it says, are you ready? And I remember breaking down in tears in the hospital, and I was crying. I was telling this thing. I told you I'm not ready to go. I told you I'm not ready to go. I told you I'm not ready to go. And my home with them came in. I'm like, who are you talking to? Mm-hmm. I was like, man, I told you all so I was like, man, get me up out this hospital. So we ended up looking down the hall and ended up getting out of the hospital. I had the IV thing walking with me. We got in the car and came all the way back to South Carolina. So I was out of the hospital. So, so I stayed out of the hospital before I went back for like two days. And I had so much swelling around my chest, around my um, heart area. When I went back to the hospital, the doctor told me if I wouldn't have came to the hospital in time, that swelling around my heart would have killed me. Mm. Mm. Real true story. That's crazy, bro. That's great. That's spooky. Okay. Yo, another phenomenal story, my brother. I appreciate you. So I'm going to tap back in. Like I said, y'all, that's number two. Number four story is going to come with a death. So that's number two. I'm going to let y'all cook for a little bit, and I'm going to call back in, bro. Go I say less, my man. Let's get it, man. Lines is open. The um live is back, right and exact. You know, we had some, we had some technical difficulties. Let's get it. Peace. State your name. Where you calling from and keep it clean. Talk to me. This T from Texas. What up, M Red? Everything good. Mute your audio, your TV, or your laptop, or your computer. Just mute that if you can. The audio. I got you. It's all the way down now. Okay, so what you calling? You calling with a spooky story or you calling to speak on a 50 cent I love a Diddy thing? Well, both, both, because I was just looking at this video on TikTok of Mike Tyson and Diddy <laughs> on the Keenan Ivory Wayne show, right? And I don't know if you saw it or not. Yeah, I saw it. <laughs> but, uh, it, it was it tripping me out, like how Mike was talking to Keenan, mm-hmm. and then he turned around and said, Diddy all about the Benjamin, mm-hmm. and he moved his hand, correct, like away from, like, 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 like Diddy was like reaching. Trying to touch his ass or something. Yeah, <laughs> pause it, facts. Oh, Hello. No Diddy on that. Yeah, no, no Diddy. diddy. That. Spooky. Hold on, that shit was definitely spooky. 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 <laughs> that was that was some of the spookiest stuff I've ever seen, man. Because that was like right there in front of our face. Yeah. But you no, know, how come nobody ever said nothing about this back in the nineties? Yo, you know man? what's so crazy, right? That's yeah. how. Wow, Diddy, Diddy is, and how dangerous he is. Like, and that shit is spooky because for you to do that to Mike Tyson live on TV, you know, you know he different. Like, like a different kind of different. I don't want no parts of. Like, I probably would have killed Diddy, Diddy right there on that stage. Like, literally. Like, <laughs> and he had a look on his face. Like he was worried that Mike was gonna knock him out after that. Worried right. Mike would have killed him. Like, <laughs> yeah, that was definitely spooky. That was, but anyway, man. Yo, you know what's yeah, so yeah. crazy? It's like that's that's probably what they caught. But imagine what was going on before the camera, you know, I guess zoomed in on that actual thing, and they probably still not paying attention what's actually going on. You feel what I'm saying? So Diddy 
Yeah. Diddy probably was getting reckless with that hand behind Mike. You know what I'm saying? Oh, wow. You know what I mean? With, with Mike Tyson, man, Diddy had to be on some most stuff to do that to Mike Tyson, man. Yeah. That's crazy, bro. Yeah, Diddy, Diddy, Diddy something he, else, man. He's something but, else. Yeah, I know him, Rick, man. Yeah. I'm glad that you're doing the show on Thank Diddy. You, like, I know Diddy been catching a lot of heat. Mm -hmm. Behind this, um, this sex trafficking, but I don't think nothing's gonna happen to him. Mm -hmm. To be honest with you, I don't think mm -hmm. I don't see him doing no jail time. I don't see him. He might get some charges filed against him. He might get sued a couple of times. But to mm -hmm. be honest, man, I don't really see him going down like no time soon. Like how you feel about that? Yo, you know what's crazy? Um. I share that sentiment, you know what I mean? Like, um, with Diddy, he's somebody, if he goes down, he's taking everybody down. He's taking everybody down. So, you know, um, yeah, I, I, I'm just waiting to see this thing play out. But, yo, from, from the way it's looking, man, mm -hmm. homie might... He might slide through the back door. Pause. You know what I'm saying? No diddy. No diddy. No diddy. You know I, what I mean? I mean, well, it's like it's like uh, Nino Brown, right? Like uh, how Nino Brown was running New York City for mm -hmm. so long, and he had everybody working for him low key, like the mayor. You know what I mean? The governor. I think Diddy got like that kind of pull when it comes to. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Certain areas, certain places. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like that's why I don't really see that. Our R. Kelly didn't have that that kind of pull. You know what I mean? Like right. he blew through all his money. Now different kind. Now Diddy like a different kind of. He he he's like a different kind of monster when it comes to that. When it comes to that money and when it comes to power. Mm -hmm. When it comes to ruling something. So we can they can sit there and gossip about the man all they want, but I won't believe it until I see it. Correct. You know what I mean? Like this guy worth almost with eight hundred million dollars. Mm -hmm. He made the Forbes uh, top richest man in America magazine like twenty years ago. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like I I don't see that happening. I don't believe it happening until I actually see it. Mm -hmm. And I was, you know what I mean? And yeah. I was wondering, like, you know what I mean? Did you kind of, like, feel the same way? Yeah, I, I, I share some of them sentiments. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. Definitely, yeah. man. Well, but, I, well, yeah, go ahead. Okay. Well, thank, thank, thanks, M. Rick, nah, man. You, you good. Before you go, nah, love is love. I appreciate you tapping, and I appreciate your um commentary, your assessment. Um, Before you go... Um, I definitely need you to support that Spooky Hours app in the Apple Store if you haven't already. And if you got an Android, it will be available in the Android Store and definitely by this week. You know what I mean? Oh, no doubt, M. Brick. I'm glad you started Spooky Hours back up, man. Yeah, so man. You, you went missing the action for a minute, man. <laughs> like, nah, what's going on? Nah, I'm, I'm, I had to get the app right. The app is here, brother. You know what I'm saying? So... I'm I'm working for the oh. people, so you know I'm, I'm, it's only me. I don't even do so much, you know what I mean? So you know, right. I had to get the app right. So you know, you got to sacrifice. So I had to sacrifice maybe two months of not going live. I think the last time I went live was January, the end of January. So it was two months ago. You know what I mean? So y'all ain't getting spooky right. hours in two months, and I apologize. But as you can see, I got the app. You know what I mean? So now everybody who wanted to watch the spooky hours, the TV series, you can watch the whole TV series because everybody's saying, "Yo, wreck, we rock with you. We we buy the episodes individually, but could we pay one price to watch the whole TV series like on an app or something?" And I did that. You know what I mean? I made that happen. You know what I mean? And it wasn't easy. Uh, it wasn't. Wasn't easy and it cost a lot of grip. Still costing me grip. I'm still figuring out this Google thing. You know what I mean? But I have it done this week. You feel me? Sounds good, Rick. You're a smart man, brother. Just Thank you, bro. Keep up the good work, man. And I'll be, I'll be following you, man. I'll keep in touch with you. Thank you, good brother, man. Let the people know who you be again. Uh, my name's T. Texas.
Shouts to T from Texas. Thank you, my brother. Thanks for tapping in and all the support. All right, brother. All right. Happy Easter. All right. Happy Easter, my brother. Salute. Thank you. All right. Man, I love the wreck mob. I love the love, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, I appreciate y'all. So, you know, I mean, it's so much stuff I got to get back to. I got I, I got to get back to the Unsung Heroes. I haven't done that show in a minute. I, I, I haven't done my backstories show, you know what I mean, where I interview celebrities, get their backstories. Um, it's so much. I got to get back to the music. You know, trust me, man, like, it's so much that comes with this whole MREC thing, this brand. It's it's a lot. But for the most part, I'm built to do this. So call me up if you want to speak on this whole Diddy, 50, Ed Lubber thing, or you got a spooky story, call me up. Um, we going to rock out. You know what I mean? We um, at the hour 42 minute. So we might go into spooky hours overtime because, you know, the, uh, you know, the computer wild out on me for like a good five minutes. So, um, yeah. Run the likes up. Pound the like button. Is SJ still in the building? Um, um, run the, uh, do me a favor. Do me a favor. Go to the app store. Um, on Apple, leave five star ratings. Download it. And I appreciate y'all. Let's get it. So, caller, state your name. Where you calling from? Keep it clean. Let's get to it, caller. Del Monte Green Banks out of KC. What's going on, man? Talk to me. How you doing? I'm good, my brother. Good hearing from you, man. Word. I'm more concerned about my man Rasheed Rice than these two than than um, <laughs> Diddy and anybody else. No doubt. So let's let's, <laughs> let's speak on it. Talk to me. Look, young brother, he got in, he got in a car accident somewhere down there and um. But allegedly, they're saying that he got into a he was speeding or something. So we don't know yet out here in KC yet. But he just got here as a receiver. Mm. He was balling out for a rookie. Mm. But I ain't concerned about no Diddy and Jay Z and all that. No doubt. They can go. I'm yeah. more concerned about more. We we got more other stuff concerned with going on around the planet. That's a fact, my brother. I appreciate you. You know, putting us on to that. And all that. Um, when you get a chance, download that app, though. You know what I mean? It's spooky. Oh, all right, exactly. You got it? Okay. Yeah, I got it. I just ain't, I ain't been able to pay for it yet. Okay. But, uh, yeah, I'll get it pretty soon. Okay, no problem. No, I already I know you. You support. So. You've been supporting throughout the years, so I already know you got me. You know what I mean? But um, but yeah. What's the uh? What uh, what what kind of details do they have about this Diddy stuff so far? I'm kind of on the wait and see thing. Cause... Yeah, I'm 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 with you, man. Like everything you have heard thus far, um, it, it hasn't been no updates besides him, you know, the, the the raids happening at his properties, but it hasn't been no updates. We seen him out. Well, matter of fact, the updates Diddy outside chilling. Diddy Diddy is outside with his kids. Uh, would you call that spot? Where you go play like golf? Um, yeah, top golf. Yeah, top golf. Did he have top golf with his kids living life? You know what I mean? So that's the update. Yeah. He got. You know what so I'm saying? See why? See how they all these cats been letting this dude do this? I, I'm I'm not I'm not playing those. Guys. I don't care how powerful you are. That's a fact. I'm, I'm folding you up underneath the table. You're gonna be sitting in between underneath the uh, washer and dryer. <laughs> I'm not playing those games with no nigga, man. I don't care how much how yeah. much money you got. That's a fact. You ain't got the money. You ain't you ain't you ain't got nothing. What about your your internal mm -hmm. your your uh, pedigree? <laughs> like, why are you gonna play play cats like that and put them in a situation? They trying yeah. to get themselves in a better position. and You trying to play games with people like that? Yeah, I ain't I ain't gonna play no games with people like that. I'm with you, good brother. Like, he, he's got a, he's got that all oh, you get sagged, that sagged, <laughs> that sagged punch. <laughs> Easy on that word, cause they be um they be wilding out on YouTube. You know what oh, I'm you get oh you get that street fighter punch <laughs> with a copy with, with a couple of them real quick. No doubt, but um laid him on down, wait. walked off. Yeah, my brother, I appreciate you tapping in, man. You heard. And shout out to all the sisters that got slanted eyes and cheeks that match. You heard? That's a fact. <laughs> all right, my brother. Salute. All right. We got next. Yes, sir.
my brother. Let's get it, y'all. Hopefully, they don't mess up my monetization, man. Man, y'all got to be easy, man. Certain words is just not a go. Um, yeah, the censorship is crazy. Peace. We got Malcolm, the spooky hours OG in the building. What's up? What's going on, Emery? How you doing? Everything good, my brother. We got Malcolm in the building. I ain't got my ma machine on with to give you a round of applause because it's acting up. But you know, I'm a I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it manually. Shout out to Malcolm calling up the spooky hours. OG, what's up, my brother? Hey, how you doing, Emery? I'm good, man. Yeah. Great, great hearing from you, man. You know what's so crazy? Um, tonight is the official night that I'm announcing. We got the Spooky Hours TV app on app in the Apple Store. So salute to you, man, for being you know a Spooky Hours OG, being here from day one and seeing the show grow into what it is now. Wow. You know, yeah, man, I appreciate that. You know what's so spooky about this, Rick? Totally. The last time we. We spoke to each other. It was through a text of last year of uh, March 31st. Wow. And That's crazy. Think about today. I'm like, this is crazy. So, Wait, man, hold on. You're saying, Mar you saying March 31st. You know what's so crazy? Um, This is the anniversary, the fifth year anniversary of Nipsey. You know what I mean? Nip. No, I know. Yeah, Nip. Yeah, when he passed. So, um, yeah. you know, neighborhood yeah. Nip. You know what I mean? Rest in peace to neighborhood yeah. Nip, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, That's for crazy. real, for real. It's crazy. It's spooky. Yeah. Talk to me, Malcolm. What's yeah, going man. on? What's, what's, what's up with you? It's been kind of crazy for me these past few months. But, you know, when I come on your show, I want to come with some real stuff. Mm -hmm. And for myself, it happened again to me. So let me jump into this story here. It's kind of it jumps into places, but it's it's real spooky for me because right now I, I can't get out of the situation I'm in right now until I figure it out. So let me jump into it. No doubt. Let's so get it. Months, months ago, Emrick, I, I I met this person. And, you know, we started talking. So we started digging each other and everything. But um, one night um, I had a dream that I thought my father had passed away. Mm. So I walk into the, this room, bedroom, and my father's there, but he looks dead, but he's not. Because when I look again, he starts to breathe again. Mm. So I stop by thinking like, okay, he's alive. Meanwhile, the person that I met, let's just go like this. A day before, she had already told me that her dad was in the hospital, and I told her to start right there. Mm -hmm. Because I had a dream that I thought my father had passed away. Come to find out. Her dad got released from the hospital. I kept telling her to check on her dad, check mm. on your dad, mm. check on. Mm -hmm. And she never did, and he passed away. So for some reason, when I dreamed that my father passed away, it was her dad that was passing away. Mm. So this is how I intertwine with, with people sometimes. Sometimes I, I, I talk with them in their past for a certain reason. Mm -hmm. Now let's get to the real spooky stuff. Well, as we started dating, and, uh, you know, I, I finally met her. Uh, so we, we had a, a heated night, you know, the whole thing went down. And as I was sleeping, right, I, I saw her coming over my bed while I was asleep. She mm. woke up moving around, but she had this rock uh, coming across over me in bed, and she was laying around. Like above the bed, over my head, in red, mm. my head. So I, you know, my eyes were closed for like a see. You know, I'm trying to make out the rock she was using. I was just hoping that she wasn't gonna stone me. Mm -hmm. Anyway, as I started, you know, we started, you know, talking more and everything. Um, a few times, you know, meeting her stuff. As I would walk around the house, in red, I started noticing there would be you know windows all around the house. It would be jars all around the house, jars all around the door. So when she wasn't looking, I would go around and look at the stuff real quick. So I started noticing that the jars that she had, it had salt, it had water, it had offerings like 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 money change. Mm -hmm. Now the doors, 
And then all of a sudden in the windows, I would look at these weird doors, not the door, I would look at these weird jars and they had like, like, I don't know, like water, like, like dark water. And it had like bones or something in them. They looked like bones, mm. I swear, like bones off the jars. So I started looking at all of the, uh, the windows around the house, like through the kitchen, through the, uh, through the living room. And it was like just jars of just weird stuff I couldn't make out. So as I made my way upstairs, when she was downstairs, I went into this room mm-hmm. and it had a pentagon. I don't know if it was a six point star or whatever in the middle of the floor. And around this whole room was full of candles and all kinds of pictures and ancestors and like it looked like offerings and, and rituals in this mm. whole room if you had to saw this room it would spook you out mm-hmm. so one day we had a disagreement and she was always mentioning about um people that would piss her off she would mention this ghoul pot a ghoul pot like a witch pot mm. and she would put their pictures off into a pot Mm-hmm. Meaning that she was working some magic mm. or some type mojo on people that she would get into it. <laughs> you probably say, what kind of people? Like sometimes a mechanic may screw up a car and she would just throw his picture off into a ghoul pot and she would mention ghoul pot. Mm. So I said, okay, she's dealing with some type of magic, you know, because it's when she started just, you know, just saying stuff to me. Mm-hmm. Then all of a sudden, there was another girl involved with me too that I was dating too. And this girl was telling me, I know why you're having no headaches. I said, what headaches? I was trying to figure it out. She said, well, the one that you're talking to, she's the one that's causing the headaches. Mm. I said, I don't know what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. And she said, well, I'm letting you know she's causing headaches and I know you went to go see her. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to end this. And I just ended the call. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I was having frequent headaches and wreck. Wow. It went, it, that was so crazy that I started thinking about what the other girl said, but these headaches I was having were getting so bad, Emrick. I, 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 I said, well, maybe I got to just, just stay away from Emrick. But the more I tried to stay away from it, the more headaches I got. Mm. So I know that every time we would talk, she would repeat words to me. Like, like the words would be like chants. Like, it would be over and over and over. So it's it just something about her that kept me when I tell you, when someone puts up a spell on somebody, when a, when a person says that they can't leave that person, it is a such thing as a, a spell. Mm-hmm. So I felt like she put a spell on me in wreck, and I don't even know. Like when I try to like end it with her, mm-hmm. I couldn't because I know she had like some type of some type of spell. Mm-hmm. And the way this whole house had all this weird stuff around it in wreck, it was like ritual stuff. Uh, a witch room at the uh, at the door. When you walk in, there's a witch room at her head of her door. Mm. It was a witch room. Right? One day we had a disagreement, and she said, yeah, I am a witch. I am a witch. Mm. And I was like, oh, my God, I'm fucking dating a fucking witch. I didn't even know it, Emre. Right? Mm. It was an actual witch that uh, claimed that she healed people. But she always, when she would get mad at folks, she would want their pictures so she could throw into her ghoul pot, a ghoul pot. Mm-hmm. And the only thing I think of a ghoul pot was, was like a, a witch type pot. Mm-hmm. You know, she would throw your picture in and, and work some mojo on you. Mm. Now, I'm speaking, y'all. Everybody is listening to this. This is crazy because I just had to tell this story, but... I got her on the other end of the phone because she's asleep. I can't get rid of her. So, well, <laughs> she on the phone right now? She's on the other it, end. It's funny you say that. It's 666 in the chat that you say that. It's 666 people in the chat. You say, that's spooky. Hold on, I got to look spooky on that. That's spooky. Keep going, though. The, the numbers just went up. Pound that like button. Keep anyway. going. I can't, I can't find myself like to leave her alone because I know it's a, some type of love spell that she got on me. Wow. It's, it's it's weird that I'm speaking this, but the the actual house it looks so nice outside, but inside it's got some type of uh, protection all around the house. Mm. There's jars, 
it's offerings at the door. There's a witch broom when you walk in and you look above, you turn around and look above. I forgot to say it on there, but it's a witch broom. Mm. It's just, the house is just full of just witchy, witchy stuff. And I don't know what that rock was that she was placing over my head. Mm. I never asked her about it. But this is what I do know what she said to me one time because we had a disagreement. Because I told her, I said, well, some other person told me you put a spell on me. So she said, well, who is she? Who is she? So I can report to the elders to handle this person. Mm. Our voice is very high pitch. Wow. And when she gets angry, she talks with authority. Meaning, if she was God and she was pointing her finger down on me, I would be bowing to her. Strong mm. as she speaks to you. And sometimes when when I'm um when we're not like really talking and we're having disagreements, she has this this witchy, witchy laugh. Mm -hmm. And it scares me sometimes because I'm thinking I hope that she doesn't do anything to me. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I, I, I hope everything is all good, bro. But I, I, I would say hang up the line. I was be about to, you know what I mean, hang up. I'm gonna go to the next line because it's getting a little spooky. You feel me? <laughs> and just just keep me posted. Let me know you all right. I'm gonna check, I'm gonna I'm gonna tap in with you. You know what I mean? Okay, buddy. All right, all my right, brother. Right, all right. That's my brother Malcolm, but that was a little spooky. He's saying that she was on the line. Nah, I'm good on that. She might be calling right now. Peace. Yo, yo, peace. What's up? Who this? Yo, yo, M. Brad, what up? What's up? Who this? Yo, yo, this is Phil. I'm, I'm from the town. I'm from, I'm from Bob, born in Far Rock. Okay. Father from Eden War, mother from Albany Project, Crown Heights. So, you know, I'm hearing a lot of stuff, like, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, born in 85. Mm. You know, I was raised on the bad boy. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You know, so you know how that go. I was always East Coast. No you know doubt, man? Phil. Salute, Phil. Talk to me. So, so my question to you is: have mm -hmm. you you being in the industry, have have you ever met Puff? Anybody from the Bad Boy camp? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I met Puff. I, I was around him, but I was around him real quick. You know, um, with Babs. You know, in the studio, I was never like one on one with homie. You know what I mean? I went. I went. All right, uh, so, check, yeah, all right, so, yeah. so you. All right, so from. All right, so you know how it was in the nineties when when we was going against the West Coast, and so you know you know what that ever that you know what that vibe was like. Correct. Correct. So you know we were straight up East Coast. Period. So mm -hmm. my thing is this. I was like Puff. We always heard about the rumors from back in the days and stuff like that. And you know what I'm saying? Like I said, my father from Eden Wall, and I, I heard the story. I, you know, Eden Wall not too far from Mount Vernon. But Puff, Puff is definitely, like, he had some gangsters around him. The Valley, you know, wolfing mm -hmm. them. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. we we not going to sit up here and act like what's going on right now is not no gangster shit. You feel me? I'm sorry right. cursing. Yeah. But, like, Puff definitely held NYC on some like when when it came down to LA, we, we I, I just got finished listening to Victory from the from the Way Out album. Mm -hmm. So we're not gonna sit up here and act like that did not make us feel no type of way. Am I correct? No doubt. All right. So I mean, I just need people to keep it. You know what I'm saying? One thousand percent, man. I don't, I don't get down with none of this news. I was born in '85, like I said. I'm thirty. I'll be thirty nine years thirty nine years old. Thank God. I, you know, survive the streets of New York City, sunflower season, quarter waters. Yes, yeah, sir. But, um, salute. Salute. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, let's let's keep it real, man. Bad boy was running shit for 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 a minute. That's a you fact. You know what I'm saying? So, and you you didn't necessarily have to rock with Puff, mm -hmm. but it was a lot of gangster stuff that was going on around that in the streets. If you understand what I'm saying, that's a fact. All right, bro. Peace and love. One. Peace and love. One. Let's get it, y'all. Call me up. 310-598-2974. We got Master Musa on the line. This the third story? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's number three. Let's Man, get it. good to hear from Malcolm. Uh, <laughs> well, you talking like we're going to hear him next year again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Malcolm. That, Man, was, that was different. Boy. That was different from him. Like, Well, that was, that was spooky. 
Spooky. You have a Spooky. He got a love witch Ooh. on the line. You feel me? I don't I'm need. About blood. I don't need her on my line. You heard? I'm talking <laughs> about none. Yes, hang up now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yo, you know, that's oh, the yeah, first time. This number. Go ahead, go ahead. Ray. Yeah, go that, ahead. that was the first time I had to end the call early on Malcolm. That's my guy, but <laughs> god damn. <laughs> You put, me in, you. You put me in a weird position. Pause. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yo, Bible called in with some no extra stuff. Come Word. on, bro. You <laughs> <laughs> no doubt, oh, bro, man. So yeah, yeah get it, get into your story. Respect story. Tobacco, though, man. Respect hey, dog, your your business, man. Word. But uh, but yeah, this is number three, y'all, man. I'm gonna make it real quick because I'm ready to get the phone calls. Oh, it's extra spooky. Okay. So this story right here take place uh some years back. I was a teenager. So um, I ain't like going to church like that, man. It's, I think that's how I got country so fast when I started getting information, but that's besides the point. So I ain't like going to church, man. You know, so I'm with my grandma's house one day, everybody getting ready to go to church, whatever, it's getting third, so I'm posted up. Mm-hmm. You know, don't open up the door, don't do this. You know how they tell you, you know, when you're a teenager, whatever. I think mm-hmm. I'm like, uh, I think I was about, uh, no, 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 no. I think I was like 10 or 11. I was I was going away to be a teenager, whatever, because you know, you're 13, you're a teenager. I was like 10 or 11. And they were saying, you ain't no teenager, so don't open up the door or whatever. So I was like, all right. So everybody go to church. I'm posted up, watching the Saturday movies, eating or whatever. So I heard my uncle call me outside the door. He was like, you know what they called me? They was like, uh. So I'm listening. Uh. So I opened up the door. He's standing right there. He was like, well, come here. Come here. I was like, what's up? I ain't got no shoes on. He's like, come on, I got something going on. So I put on my shoes or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I'm following him down the street, but he like 20 feet in front of me. Mm. So every time I got close to him, it's like he was getting farther from me, but he would turn a corner. So I walk behind him, I'm like, man, what's going on? What's going on? He turned a corner. I'm literally trying to jog up to him, and he's walking so fast, he turned another corner. And, and the, the heat outside is like 100 something degrees this during the summer. So I walk up to him close again, he turned the corner again. So I walk up to him another corner, he turned the corner again. Mm. So as I'm turning this last corner, I see my uncle face down behind his house laying in his yard. So I turn him over. This dude is literally having a heart attack. So uh, he's he like right beside this porch behind this super house. So I run and knock on their door and I'm like, I need some help. My uncle, he's he's, he's shaking right here, but I couldn't find out later on he was having a heart attack. And he used to drink a lot. Mm. And uh, what it was, the son got to him and he had a heart attack. So the ambulance ended up coming and, and you know, back then, you know, we didn't have no cell phones or nothing like that. So when my grandma and them came from church, my mom and them, I told them what happened and they went to the hospital or whatever. And my uncle was telling them he was uh he was drinking or whatever and all he remember was just going to sleep. But when he woke up, he was in the hospital. Mm. And so when he came out of the hospital and seen me, he was like, Well, I don't remember talking to you, I ain't talking to you or nothing. And I'm like, dude, you came to the door and called me, and I kept following you all the way around there, and you was on the ground when I passed that last time. He said, Man, I was walking to the house, I don't remember calling nobody. Wow. That's that's yeah, hold on. That's that's spooky, bro. Spooky. Because Spooky. I'm taking it as, did he, was he in between worlds when he was having a heart attack? I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. Ooh. I'm like, I just remember, and see, I could never get to him. Every mm-hmm. time I would get close to him, it's like, it's like he was just skipping, like his feet were like he was almost levitating forward and just turning the corner, like whatever his energy was, just wanted me to follow him, but it took on the shape of my uncle. Mm. You see what I'm saying? And when I turned that last corner to try to catch up to it, when I looked, he was laid behind his house, face down, shaking. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I'm like, I turned him over, like, oh, oh, oh. And I remember knocking on these people's doors. I was like, hey, I need help. My uncle, he heard of something going on. And I remember the people calling the police and the ambulance coming. So they literally took him on, and I jumped back to the house. I already got my, you know how old people is by leaving the house mm-hmm. a lot. So I get back to the house, and I'm waiting on them to get out of church. I tell them, they go to the hospital and tell me the details that happened later on. Mm. So when he ended up getting out of the hospital and me ended up seeing him a few days later, I was like, dude, I ain't talked to you. I was mm. like, man, I ain't, what are you like, what are you talking about? It was like, man, I was drinking too much and passed out. But come mm. to find out this dude that had a whole heart attack. He said he don't remember talking to me, remember seeing me or nothing. That's crazy. That's definitely spooky, man. That's spooky on a whole Back. different note. Spooky! And another phenomenal story. That's three. Salute. Um... At this point, somebody else is trying to call in. I don't even know what type of time they on, but let me see what they hollering, and then you can. All right, the so I'm, I'm ready. To, I'm ready to blast with this last one. So I'm, I'm listening. I'm gonna call back in ASAP. All, All right, right, my brother. Salute. Peace. Six four six. I just answered your call. Six four six five four eight. Call back. I just answered your call. And Lisa, you can call back. Let's get it. I'm about to um. 
you know, wrap the show with M Mansa Musa last story. So Y'all better hurry up and get it in. Peace. Meet your yo. Yeah, you live. Yo, what? Yo, sir. Uh, yo, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. You can hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I right, copy. Yo, listen. I, I ain't gonna talk too long, but check this out. I, I just, you know, the the word diabolical kept coming up. I want I want all the cats that's listening. I want I want them to Google the word diabolical. You know what I'm saying? Like it's mm -hmm. devilish. Mm -hmm. And I want I want y'all cats to understand that coming from New York City, you have to have a devilish mind. Puppy was a devilish type of cat, and he been doing this. He been doing this since since the since the city college incident, y'all. Mm -hmm. See, y'all gotta Google that. Yo, can you hear me, Emre? Yeah, I can hear you loud and clear, good brother. Yo, and yo, it was um. What's your um homeboy from Onyx? The nigga um I'm, I'm sorry for saying nigga. That's our mm -hmm. black brother. He um he he did a he did a Vlad interview or something like that. You talking about Fredro? He was like yo, he, talking about Fredro huh? Star. Fredro Star. Fredro Star. He, yeah. yeah, he said he said yo put put Puffy name next to tragedy and you see how many things that happen. Mm. All of these things have been happen and Puff is yo Puff was more grimier than Shug. But everybody thought that New York, we were soft and pussy when it came down to, to LA and death row. And I was a, I was a bad boy cat. I had the Sean John letters. I had the bad boy letters. I knew what was going on. Minus the um, you know, the gay stuff or whatever. Mm -hmm. But when it came down to the, the 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 gritty New York, yo, bad boy used to go out there with Wu Tang. A lot of people don't know that. Mm -hmm. Wu Tang. Jump Mace, Wu Tang tried to get at Biggie. Mm. They don't even know that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know that, right? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, I do. I know exactly. Mm -hmm. Um, and, yo, they they surrounded Biggie, Pistol Pete, and D Rock was best friends because they 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 did they did the joint up north, and they they had to get Biggie out Biggie out, out of a situation. Mm. So Bad Boy wasn't like run or be all in New York. Like New York was, yo. I'm I'm from I'm from the town when shit was going down. So at the mm. end of the day, I need y'all people to understand all this stuff that y'all hearing on the media is not nothing new. This is stuff that we've been new. It's just coming out right now. And sometimes, what whatever you put out in the universe is coming back to you. That's a fact. So man. I just wanted to express that to you, um, Emre. You already know because you're yeah. part of the industry. I'm doing security right now. For Atlantic Records, mm. but when I'm saying in in, in New York, on Sixth Avenue, I'm in, I'm I'm in the town right now. Okay. But what I'm saying to y'all, yeah, exactly. So you could you could take my personal number and hold that. But what I'm saying to y'all is, man, yo, listen, a lot of stuff is real, and don't believe the hype because it's not just Puff. The mm. Puff, Puff is he's a black face, but there's a lot of people that's above Puff in these industry and and I can say. In the industry, they're white and they're of different races and they are all gay. So mm. we cannot just put that on Puff. Gotcha. All right? No doubt. But no Puff doubt. is against the to, to the street standard. But anyway, whatever. I ain't gonna talk about that. But yo, and Rex, I'm I just wanted to let the, the people know what's going on in New York City. Cause I don't want y'all thinking there's something crazy going on, da 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 da. All of this shit been going on. No doubt. I appreciate you tapping in. You said your name is Phil, right? Yeah, Phil. That's my real name. I, I, I no, ain't no, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm locking you in. Blood. No, no, my no, name no. Is Philip White. Yeah, yeah I, you got my number. So yeah, you can, you can lock it in. I, I, I got you locked in. We are gonna build behind the scenes. I'm gonna hit you like tomorrow. So, say no more. All right, peace, Phil. Salute. Appreciate All you. Right. Yeah, y'all, pound that like button. Um, you know what? Let me get Massa Musa to tell his story. Hold on, but I think somebody else called. Hold on one second. One second, Master Musa. Uh, Lisa, let me see. She was calling. And somebody 702 called. Pound that like button. Let's get the likes up. Also, run run up the uh, the five-star ratings on that Spooky Hours app. Download it now and leave a five-star rating on it. And um, watch the TV show. Let's get it. Lisa, what's happening? 
Hey, how you doing? How are you? I'm I just good. want to say, um, when I sent you in the cash app, I was just trying to say Thank that you. address what at the end of the day I am from Wyo. And I will say to you, um, this thing, this puffy thing, this is called a big fish in a trillionaire pond. Mm. In other words, I'm gonna speak in code for you, sir. Mm -hmm. I wanna say this. When you send homeland security to something that the regular feds were supposed to do, you're not looking for that person. You're looking for evidence. Mm -hmm. And you're looking for evidence that you can be mm -hmm. Mute your, your audio, um, um Lisa, mute your audio in the back draw. I can hear it. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, God. Oh, I'm sorry. Just saying, like, we have to look at this from a different lens and a different perspective. Um, like the other brother said, we be from New York. We kind of know. We kind of know. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, I'm saying, as far as this rape, this, this stuff, it, when, when does Homeland Security get involved in a regular federal it could have been a federal raid. Mm. So who are you protecting? Mm. And again, I will say this again. He's a big fish in a small pond with trillion in it. Mm. No doubt. I'm just going to, I'm, I'm going to do that right there because at the end of the day, you know, um, with everything goes well with the brother, I say that right but uh, I'm telling you, what, what we're going to look at after a while, you're going to see what kind of happened to the other folk. But see, he messed with them folk. Mm -hmm. He didn't have to mess with them folk. Mm. And at the end of the day, most of them lawsuits, they've been up there. They was held up for years. Mm -hmm. Let's stop lying to ourselves. So... My thing is that, bro, he, he you know, he kind of, he kind of wagged the dog's tail. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, um, I just only want to say, like, I don't look at this, like, uh, with this homeland security thing. That's something different. That means that they need something redacted. Mm. You didn't come get him. You ain't got all that information. Gotcha. Or try to. Got you. I okay. appreciate you, so, Lisa. Salute, Salute. Salute, Lisa. Thank you. Man. Man. All right? I am All right, peace. Yeah. Let's get to it. I'm going to end the show with Massa Musa, man. I want to hear this fourth story. He said he got a challenge. So, Massa Musa, hit the line, yo. Let's get it, bro. Let's get it. Come on, Massa Musa. Where you at, King? Cause I gotta, I gotta give me some breaths. We uh, I'm gonna call him up. Did you ready? Yeah, that's me, my brother. Okay, okay, you ready? Yeah, let's get it. Yeah, you gonna end the show, right, uh, my brother? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead, go ahead, break my problems. No, I said you gonna end the show. Let's get it. Okay, okay. This one right here, I'm going to tell this story, but I'm going to tell you the challenge in the story. Then I'm going to tell you how to do it at the end if y'all don't believe it. If you dare to do it, and make sure you put in the comments later on after the show if you did it, what's the results of it, or you can wait to spooky hours next next uh Sunday night later on and tell us if you did it or if you dared to do it. But this story goes back into my childhood. Um, We all used to stay at my grandma's house. You know, all my cousins, all my brothers, all of us. My grandma had a big six bedroom house that my grandpa built from his hands. So um, in the daytime, it's all fun, man. We playing, but at night, this house would get so eerily quiet and so eerily spooky. So my older cousin and my uncle, them, they would always sneak out sometime to go see girls this day and the third. And so I had one uncle, man, this dude stayed in trouble. He was just, he was just bad, man. Would just do all type of stuff, you know. Mm. And um, we, my grandma and my uncles, them, and my older uncles, them, they would always tell scary stories and stuff at night. So they was telling us this story. Remember this game? Remember this name, you guys? You can laugh all you want to, but I'm going to dare you to say this and how to say it at the end. It's called Jama Kitchen. Remember that name. 
So they start telling us this story about this, that name and what happened years ago. And so my uncle being defined how he was when we went to bed that night, he said, man, I'm going to do it. So what you got to do, you got to do these two things. You either got to go outside by your trash can and say his name three times, or you got to go to your backyard and say his name three times. That's what you got to do. That's the challenge. Mm. So he did it and ran back in the house and was laughing like, hey, I told y'all I ain't scared. Ain't nothing going to happen to me. So I remember being asleep, dog. This house was so quiet. You could hear your breath. Like, you could hear yourself breathe. Mm. And I remember looking over, like turning in the bed because how we would sleep sometimes be foot to head or you bay a towel on the floor on the couch. But all of us like sleeping in the back room together because they were so big because it was an old house. You know, the girls had a room, us had a room, my uncle had a room. They had a book room where all the kids just used to sleep, you know. Mm -hmm. So um, so I'm sleeping in the bed with one of my cousins and I just like turned over to try to get comfortable and it's like the dead of night, like early in the morning, like it's black dark. And literally, I turned over, I seen this thing, man. This thing was like, if I can explain this thing to you guys, this thing was like 10 feet high, and his back was probably the side of a of a car. Like, this thing was huge. Mm. And it was pulling my uncle out of the bed slowly. Wow. And I stopped breathing. Hold on, I spoke it. Hold on, hold Like, hold literally, up. I, yeah, go, yeah. Spoke Continue on. And, and literally, I stopped breathing. Mm. And this thing was pulling him out of the bed. And I heard myself breathe, like, and it turned around and it locked eyes with me. And this thing eyes was so big. I'm talking about this thing eyes was just huge and it was big and red. This thing was just looking at me for a second, and it, and I got the feeling like I ain't coming for you. I came for him mm. because he called me, and I watched mm. this thing pull my uncle out the bed. Well, but hold on, Dr hold that thought. Go ahead. What did this thing look like exactly? It it, it was like pulling. I'm gonna explain this thing to you. This thing was like 10 feet high. Mm. It was black. The hairs on it was so black till it was shining. This thing had hands that looked like a gorilla claw or some type of animal. And it was just big and puffy. Like it was just, this thing was huge. Mm. I'm talking about this thing was huge. And when it was dragging them through, through the room, it like dipped up down to go out the door and popped up on the other side and had his hands, had his legs in his hand, and it was just dragging them. So wow. what my bed, so what the bed I was sleeping in, I could see the corner of the front door. Even though it was in the back room, how this house was made, you could still see the front door a little bit in certain areas. Mm. So I watched this thing open up the door, dip out the door, drag my uncle through the door, and literally I'm laying there. And it's like dead silence. I don't know what to do. Next thing you know, you hear, ah, ah, mama, mama. And literally he beating on my grandma's window. Mm. beating on my grandma's window and everybody started jumping up. I ran to the window and looked out a side window. I seen this thing running going through the trees. This thing was huge, man. Seen this thing running going through the trees. And everybody ran out there. My, my big cousin, my uncle, and they grabbed their guns running out there to get my uncle back in the house and he crying. He crying. He crying on my grandma's feet. She was like, I told you. I told you don't mess with that thing. Mm. I told you don't mess with it. Mm. And it, they rushed us on back to the room, told us, this is a true story, Told us to go to bed or whatever. Told us late at night, nothing going on. And I was still up. And my grandma, she was real spiritual and real, real spooky like. And she came in there and she grabbed me out of the room. And she walked me in the kitchen. She said, you seen it, didn't you? I said, yes, ma'am. She said, if you ever call that thing like that, and don't you bother it, never. Because she said, if you do, it's going to come drag you out to bed. So I dare any of y'all that don't believe me to do it. I dare, I dare you to do it. Rep with that being said, brother, <laughs> peace, love, respect. Yo, but, black hold on. love, black energy. Let me, let, Go ahead. No, nah, peace, love, respect. Black love, black energy, all that fly shit, right? I'm saying, yes, sir. Look, what was the name? It's called Jama Kitchen. I'm not going to say it the third time. I said it twice. How you spell it? However you want to. <laughs> However you want wow. to. Just say it in that, in that courtroom. Either either go outside tonight if you bad if you bad if you bad enough say it by your trash can or say it in your backyard. I dare you and give your. I want to hear the. Oh man, I said ain't nothing happened. Really do it. Really do it if, if you mm. ain't bad. Mm. Really do I, it. You heard you heard Master Moose and Wreck Mob. Y'all really bad and get it on the camera too. Thing, the first day. Get it on camera. If you see something. 
or if you said it and you and you felt something or whatever, just do it. Yeah, get if you, that bad, if you don't if you don't want to believe. Look, look, this is what you do. Go live. So this way, if if mm -hmm. that if that thing snatch you, we still got the footage. Go live. Mm -hmm. Go live. If you if you and bad this was told to me, it happened to me when I was a little kid, mm. and I remember seeing this thing. Go live. You know what they did? They spooked some people out. Just yeah. yeah. Go live, yeah. right? And and, and at re at reply MREC TV, right? Mm -hmm. Go live. So that shit snatch you. The last time. Yeah. We'll wind it back to hear the name or yeah, let's show you Exactly. But that's the thing. Go live on IG at Reply MREC TV. So if that shit snatch you, we still got the footage. You know right. what I mean? So, you and know what I mean? Remember what you heard it first on MREC TV Spooky yeah. Hour show, the first day, the liveest show, period, on the internet. That's a fact. Ever. 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 Come on. Let's get it, y'all. Yo, yo Massa Musa, you don't miss, like my man Danny Devine said, four mm -hmm. stories. And both of them, I mean, both of them, all four of them, fire. Mm -hmm. Every, everything you've told on this Spooky Hours platform has been fire. You know what I mean? Like you, thank you, you I appreciate you, it. King. One of the thank you, my brother. Listen, you, you, you becoming a Spooky Hours OG. You right there. You, I mean, you pretty much there. You know what I mean? For the most part, because you've been here. But the fact mm -hmm. that how you giving it up on the stories, phenomenal. You know what I mean? Yeah. Thank you, my brother. I, I want to say this right here too, mm -hmm. Rick. Mm -hmm. For everybody out there that got personal issues, personal problems, what you go through in life, you even hear people call up the Rick show and say, this show saved their life because of what he was saying and what he was doing, or they had something going on and they tuned in and saved them. Me personally, mm -hmm. me telling y'all that story about me getting shot, that actually happened. Mm -hmm. Like it's stuff, it's stuff that I bring up in my childhood that's just trauma to me. But I say it to y'all and I feel therapeutic and I feel at peace. And when I say it and I tell people, I feel a release. And by y'all just give me y'all ear, give me y'all comments, give me y'all mm -hmm. like, give me y'all response and respect. That helps people like me. Even though I'm a hard individual, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a man, man. I'm an alpha male. Like, mm -hmm. I've been through it, bro. I've been shot and I've been in prison. I held it down. Like, it's, it's no fake bones about me. I'm real. No but doubt, But me releasing brother. and have a place like this, it's peaceful here, man. It's love here. It's genuine here and it's Facts. respect here. And I just want to thank y'all. And I want to thank Emrick for, for me finding him and him helping people like me out. Thank you, brother. Oh, you 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 already know. Thank you, my brother. You're welcome. And thank you, man, because I tell people, man, this show, it helps a lot of people get mm -hmm. through whatever it is they're going through, uh, help people, you know, because it's people that have these stories and never told nobody. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. so this is a platform for people to get stuff off their chest. Is a release, and also a lot of people don't called up and say, "Yo, the show saved their life." So, shouts mm -hmm. to my man Clarence and you know other all the other people that called up. Mm -hmm. Um, so shouts to Spooky Hours, man, and and, and, and you know what's so Shout crazy? We got a TV show and an app. Like I yeah. don't think people understand. You know what I mean? How That's major. it's not resonating with people from the bottom. From the bottom. The like niggas, Come on, man. we got our we got our own Netflix, y'all. Like it's crazy. We just, this is and the, you know how hard it is to make it, but the thing is, if you can make it in New York, you can make it anywhere. Yeah. And Rec is officially making it. That's a fact. Thank you, bro. That's and a fact. And 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 I'm gonna say that's due to the rec mob, man. So salute to the rec mob, you and all all the rec mob who support me. And and, 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 and I'm I'm, yeah. I'm, gonna put, I'm gonna put this in the air too, Rick. Mm -hmm. It's a difference when you have a channel and people just follow you and give you likes. Mm -hmm. But when people trust you, yeah, yeah, and believe in what you say, yeah, bro, they gonna show it. Yeah, not nah, facts, definitely. Yo, let me tell you something, bro. Like, and I'm gonna say this, and I'm not kicking nobody back in. But mm -hmm. when I work with videographers and editors and, and, you know, even people that's doing my app, the tech people, I tell mm -hmm. them, I say, yo, look, I need this done like yesterday because the rec mob trusts me. I said, Man. the longer you take, people will lose trust in me, not because they think I'm a scammer or, or a swindler. It's the fact mm -hmm. that they used to me coming through. You digging what I'm saying? Yep. So when people take long, like with the app, or they take long with the episodes, I'm like, yo, the rec mob, it falls on me. So I want to apologize to the rec mob that, you know, these people that I hire that take mm -hmm. long with, 
you know, these projects, it's not me. Trust me, I be on them, but they work on their mm-hmm. time. You know what I'm saying? They not used to somebody like me. You know, they, they work how they work. Me, I'm also, yeah. I like to get shit done. I don't play with nothing. See, one I'm thing doing. you do, though, you do stand on business and you always kept us updated with the process. Correct. That's respect, bro. Nah. You, don't, you don't know us? You yeah. ain't got to do that. You be like, man, I'm, I'm going to get to it, but let's do this. You actually kept us up with the process. I ain't got it going, but I'm telling y'all, I got, you actually kept us screaming and told us piece by piece until it happened. That's respect, bro. That's trust. Nah, That's you, love bro. that you earned. That ain't buying that. Yeah. Nah, thank you. I mean, but you know, I really appreciate the people trust and people supporting me. So when people say like, when I work with people, I try to tell them this rec mob thing, this, this mm-hmm. is for real. This is my family. This ain't just, you know, fans. I don't look at y'all as fans. Y'all are my family, my supporters. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, and I'm telling people, yo, when you do a project for me, do it like this is your last day on earth. I need this thing done mm-hmm. and I need this thing right. You know what I'm saying? And I want to apologize if if anybody, you know, felt like it was taking too long. Trust me, it wasn't me. I was trying to get it done. But when it's you been worth the wait. Yeah, it's definitely gonna be worth worth the wait, but also a lot mm-hmm. of stuff is out of my hands because I'm not an app builder. I could pay to get it mm-hmm. done, so I have to wait. You dig what I'm saying? And plus Apple was giving us a lot of issues. You know what I'm saying? They was denying yep. the app, denied, denied. They denied this, I want to say, a thousand times, literally. Mm-hmm. And 1,001, we got it right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I was relentless. You dig what I'm saying? I'm paying mm-hmm. all types of people. It wasn't just one person. I'm hiring all different types of tech people. Oh, he can't get it right? Hire this dude. I got dudes working with each other that don't even know each other to get this thing done. That's why I'm like, yo, Mm-hmm. I'm going out my way to make sure y'all got this spooky hours TV show because I want y'all to understand this is great. We got a show where people can call and tell their stories, mm-hmm. but the ill thing that I promise y'all, it came into fruition. I said, I'm going to turn your stories into a TV series. And I did that. Yeah. I did that. And I didn't even know. I'm going to tell you, I'm still new at this. I'm only like two years and some change doing film. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm new. Yeah. I'm not, for me to do something that i never done, that's amazing within itself. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got people who go to school for this shit that, that you know, they still trying to figure it out. You got people that went to school 10, 15 years for filming, editing, you know, paid, you know, six figures to learn. Yeah. And, and here but it is. When you divine and you bless like that, it's coming to you, bro. Yeah, that's a fact. So y'all, y'all don't even understand you know, the work that I put in to this brand, not only with MREC TV, Spooky Hours, and the fact that I know a lot of people depend on the show, and I want you mm-hmm. to understand the growth of this. Spooky Hours, I need to be, for me, when I'm done with it, and, and, and you know, even, you know, God forbid, you know, when I pass on, you know, because everybody got to pass on, I want Spooky Hours to be in a realm of Twilight Zone. You dig what I'm saying? Yes. Like, where we can do a marathon like the TV show is, you know, not just the the live calling show, but the TV show. I want it mm-hmm. to be like, 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 what you call that? Um, when you got uh, a TV show stays on for years, what it calls uh, what what they call that shit? Um, you know how like like the Cosby Show? Uh, what they call that shit? Damn, what's the word? Oh. Uh. Damn, like a like American classic or something. No, not not just that. It's a word. Um, when it when, when it's syndicated, I need this spooky. When I'm done, exactly. Yeah. Shouts to R Hill because I caught it at the same time. I can't wait till you know we really get this thing going and this thing goes into syndication on one of these major networks or my own network. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. you know where it's 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 worldwide and it's just like a cult classic where they're going to play it forever like the twilight zone they're going to play it forever and we could do marathons with it and and it came from an idea that's your y'all gotta Mm -hmm. y'all witness the whole making of everything and that's why i want you to really let this thing resonate with y'all y'all saw Mm -hmm. the whole process Mm -hmm. like 
and to see it in real time where it's at now, that got to be phenomenal for everybody, even people who just now coming in that's just hearing this. You can backtrack and say, yo, hold on. What homie talking about? Go back to episode mm -hmm. one. We on episode like 120, and we got movies, TV shows, and apps. And this came from our idea. So, like, even for, for me right now, I'm gonna say this, and I'm gonna end it off like this. Mm -hmm. I gotta go somewhere, like, and really assess everything. I gotta go somewhere, like, by myself, somewhere other than New York City, where I'm at. Like, you know, just go somewhere so I could take it all in because I'm not getting okay. the energy that I'm supposed to get. Like, I feel like I accomplished some crazy shit because, you know, like, I'm gonna be honest. Let's do, I'm going to say this one thing. All the TV shows that 50 got and all that, he don't even mm -hmm. got an app yet. People, they, they, fact, not, yeah. they not even, you know what I'm saying? Like, he, he don't even got an app. Him too. Yeah. So, and he got to depend on stars. So, yeah. I'm let that resonate with y'all. And, and 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 he's so, you know, he's he's somewhat of, uh, he's close to being a billionaire. I think he got like 500 M's or whatever. So let that resonate with y'all. You feel me? I ain't had to depend on stars to put my movie or my TV show on the app. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So salute to y'all, man. Salute to the wreck, mom. I appreciate that. Spooky hours worldwide. Massa Musa, we're gonna do a whole TV a whole and I'm season ready to with you. Let y'all see me in action. We're gonna, we're gonna and, and you're gonna be acting in your joints too. So Back. We going, we going, we going to do a TV. So, matter of fact, we talked about that business what, like last year. Or so, so let me mm -hmm. know when, when you're ready to really lock in, so we can get this thing moving. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, and I'm gonna tell them too, man. I ain't. I'm the type of person I want to be everybody. Like whether we Facetiming on one of my phones, whether we doing it close to y'all. I want to meet. I want to eat dinner. Like I want to be that type of actor, that type of person. Where y'all say, man, Master Moose is a real dude. With with you know, these are real like. I'm that type. Once me and Marek get it jumping off, y'all gonna see this. This is this is real. You already know, my this brother. Is really real. Nah, let's let's get it, my brother. Let's get it. And also, just know, you know, we'll get there soon. But everybody mm -hmm. that's a part of Wreck Mob and a part of the Spooky Hours family, when when I take this thing public, everybody can buy shares. You feel what I'm saying? So we Back. we all. Yeah can own a piece of it. That's where I'm at with it. Like, it's beyond TV shows, movies. I'm trying to have it to where as we got shares in a company. Everybody got shares. You feel me? Like, the donations is cool, but, like, let's mm -hmm. take it somewhere else. You feel me? That's where I'm at with it, with my audience and my and my supporters. You feel me? Yeah, for the people and by the people. Yeah. So that's so that's how you really do nothing it. Is nothing. That's how we. That's how you really do it. You know what I mean. So y'all mm -hmm. can have spooky shares, spooky hour shares. You feel me? So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get to all that. But you know, one thing at a time. We're gonna get this app. You know, um, right with with Google this week. We, it's on Apple. Mm -hmm. We're gonna drop um episodes, and that's another thing why you gotta get the app because I'm gonna be dropping two TV shows every month, and it's never gonna be an off season like. How you will watch Power or BMF or or any any show, and they have their mm -hmm. off season. You got to wait a year or, or year and a half for it to come yeah, back. It's crazy it's, if you lose interest like that too. Yeah. You, see, you hit it right on the nail. It's never gonna be an off season. Once I get this thing going, I'm just trying to lock in with the right videographer and editor. Once they understand that and get it, every month you're gonna have two episodes minimum. You know what I mean? So when, if you got the app. You're just going to see new um, episodes. Just drop it. You're going to be like, damn, Rick, I can't even keep up because I'm, I'm, I am I didn't come to play with anything I do. And I'm getting back to the music. It's going to be theme songs. It's going to be school. And you know I do music too, Rick, so you got a triple threat with me. Yeah, let, let, let's get it. Let's get it. And I'm connecting with my audience that got talent. Danny Devon is an incredible, um, like, I want to say, I can't even call him a graphic designer because he does amazing art yeah he's a he's a mm -hmm. amazing artist so danny devon he supports me a lot and matter of fact it's something at my office that he did for me that i gotta get that i just haven't been at the office so shouts to danny mm -hmm. devon danny devon is, up, i'm gonna have him do a special piece with spooky hours 
Uh, so y'all mm. lock in with him. Danny Devon is an incredible artist. Y'all might not know mm. that. Follow him on Instagram too. Danny Devon, put your Instagram if you're still in the room. Um, put your Instagram up there and, and see his work. He's an incredible artist. He's real humble. You won't even know that. You know what I'm saying? So we have a lot of talented mm. people that's in the chat room. That's 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 um that's a part of Rec Mall. But Danny Devon, very quiet about his work but one day i just happened to you know go through his instagram and i'm like wow i've seen this phenomenal art i'm talking about next level i'm talking about art that you'll probably pay 100k for 200k for he's on that level mm. he's on that level you know what i'm saying so you know check danny devon out he got a he did a masterpiece for me that i gotta go to my office and pick it up so i want to thank you my brother Danny Devon, put your um Instagram up there. But he's one of those cats that he's he's so low key that he probably won't even put his Instagram in the chat because he low key like that. But you know, I ain't want to blow his spot. But I like to just um salute people. You know what I mean? Oh, he does voiceovers mm -hmm. too. Word, I didn't know that, Empress. Danny, you do voiceovers too? Oh, we gotta work. We gotta work, my brother. We got to work. I didn't even know that. So we got a lot of talent in the room. If you talented in terms of like, you know, because right now I need help with this TV show app and all that. If you you talented with the graphics, the art, the film, like you're a cinematographer, editor, or somebody in tech, email TV submissions at gmail.com. Put whatever it is that you do in the subject so I can reach back out to you. You know what I mean? Email me. Send, mm -hmm. send me your number. And let's let's work. Let's work. If you do music, you know, you play keys, you play guitar, you sing reggae, R&B, you know, if you're a, a, a dope rapper, it's cool. But listen, man, get at me. Let's get let's let's work, y'all. So on that note, let's get it. you know, download the app, Spooky Hours. That's our app. It's not just my app. It's our app. You know what I'm saying? Um, is is it is in the Apple store? I'm gonna make the official announcement for Google this week. We're gonna have the Google um app for Spooky Hours, but download the Spooky Hours app in the in the um Apple Store. Leave a five star rating and watch the TV show, man. And yo, know, Master Musa, man. Once again, man, phenomenal stories. We we're gonna be producing. You know, like I said, we're gonna do a whole season, but we're gonna start producing one of your episodes real soon for the TV series. You know what I mean? So, my brother, enjoy your night, okay? Can you hear me? Oh. If you can hear me, my brother, enjoy your night, man. I appreciate you. Salute. Thank you, man. Man, it was a phenomenal night. Run that like button and um, run the likes up. And um, you'll enjoy your night, man. Danny Devon, man, my brother. I need a special spooky hours piece. Be a talk, though. Um, I'm gonna hit your IG tomorrow. Appreciate you, my brother. Salute, King. And um, let's get it, y'all. Nah, I mean it, it is, but that's just a test app on Google. But the official app, I'm gonna make the announcement. You know what I'm saying? That's like a test because I didn't really, you know, Google just kind of threw it up there. That's not the official one, but you know what? If you want to download it, cool. Uh, you know, the official one, it is. A download fee. If you want to download it, cool. You want to send me a cash app, you can ten dollars, cool. But you know, love is love though. Um, we pushing the Apple thing because that's official. We we ran the test, that's right and exact. All right. So on that note, double deuces and bubble gooses, y'all. Much love, man. I appreciate everybody. Gina Rose, Keita T, Danny Devine, um, everybody, man. Massa Musa, Natasia. You know, I see you. I appreciate you. Eye to eye. I see you all. Hell, everybody, man. Love is love. All the callers free reign. You know, um, yeah, I see y'all. I'm off this, y'all. Run it up on the app. Tell a friend, tell a friend, man. Tell them we got our own Netflix, man. It's spooky hours. I ain't gone. Peace. Double deuces and bubble gooses. Much love. Oh, yeah, before y'all go, make sure y'all leave um, comments on this video. You know, you go to my channel, you go to this, the live section, you go to this video, 
and leave comments. Leave comments on the live right now, y'all. Do me that favor. Leave comments. Appreciate y'all. Love, y'all. I'm gone. M-Rap TV.